Aziz, life! Aziz, life! Uh, we live and have I unmuted myself? Uh, we live and have I. Seems good. Myself. Fantastic. Veldak? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh. What else do I want to do here? So, I'm going to try setting all of these, um, setting all of these drop-offs off so that ships aren't allowed to land unless we've got plenty of room um, to empty them. Twisty P, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And over here, I think I would like to put our ready ship uh, indicator. Use colors if green equals four. Let's make this one equals one. Okay. Uh, and then I want to go ahead and patch that onto each of our spaceship drop off slash launches. I need some more lamps though. Let's go grab some. All right, away we go. past Astro Science and where the lamps at? Oh, there they are. I was gonna say I see a bunch of white things, so I'm probably gonna miss them, but no, nope, that was easy. Where's the train? Oh, I left it there. No, no, I didn't. It's coming back. All right, wait for passenger present this time, or I could just jump into it. That might be easy. And here it comes. Boop. And then... Oh, it's already going back and forth, cleaning up those purple core fragments that we accidentally brought over here. That's convenient. And I think I'll get out here. Nice and safe. Robots go, and, oh, um, I'm gonna need to make sure, well, let's just place the physical objects first, I'm gonna have to add some wires after the fact. Oh, is that all of them? Let's start from the bottom to the top, just to make sure. So that goes there, and I'm pretty sure that's the only thing we need to do with each of these that might not copy paste properly or well, it'll probably change the setting on the clamp and I don't want that and that should be it cargo rocket gonna cargo rocket fantastic I should really update uh vulcanite core fragments so that we don't need to put up with this anymore in fact completely getting rid of the production chain for Cargo rocket sections would be nice. I think we've only got like two two outposts that are still using the cargo rockets. And then we can start recycling all that crap. Um but yeah, for the moment once this one drains. Uh and this one as well. That one's actually getting rid of purple core fragments that aren't supposed to be here. Train should be on its way back already. Fantastic. How much is here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could carry the rest of this back. Wait for me. Too late. Oh, that's a lot. 
He'll be back. Alright, there's our ship. And it should be able to unload with no delays, because we've made sure there's enough room for the entirety of the ship and then some. I'm basically not letting the... Uh, I could change it a bit, but I'm base for that for now at least. I'm not letting the ship land unless all of these blue chests are empty, which probably shouldn't slow anything down, right? But we're still gonna have um, ships queuing up based on the flow and consumption of core fragments if we have enough to saturate. So whether they're waiting here or waiting in orbit, it shouldn't really make a difference. Budgie good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I was watching your VOD and it seemed that the haulers were never unloading the elevator cable when it went to different planets. Um, I don't think that's right. I've been watching them do that. We would have run out of space, eleva uh, space elevator cable here a long time ago if that were the case. Speaking of which, we need to fix verb T. I did run the game a little bit after the save yesterday to test something. Um, and I'm pretty sure we're probably just about to have a ship uh, automatically leave to resupply verb tea. Um, except something, something happened. Where's that train? I missed it. Uh, I'm just going to set you to wait for passenger present just this once um but yeah if we automatically resupply the space elevator cables and this gets back to 752 it starts working again totally fine this train goes through after like a second and when it stops no pathing no problem there but this train um whose front space locomotive we can't see um it act the front locomotive actually got cut off oh it's over here yeah yeah yeah. so it's got the front locomotive uh upstairs and the rest of it's downstairs and it actually got like separated i also uh after it did get separated i think it was i managed to mouse over an entity uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was like a placeholder connector thing. Like It, it, was, it was like a fake locomotive or cargo wagon um, for when the trains are being split in two that this is going to be connected to. Um, but yeah. Oh, here we go. Let me in. Fantastic. Um, that might be... It's headed for Moss Garden. It's headed for Moss Garden. Can we stop double sending ships? I thought I literally just made a system explicitly to not do that. It's literally... The timer that says don't send another ship for five minutes is running right now. I, I don't... I don't understand how we're sending two ships at once to a location. But anyway, it might be better to go jump in the construction ship to go fix that uh, spell elevator cable because we need to do something manually there anyway. Bub tea. And away we go. Fantastic. Let's see where our next ship or two gets sent to. It's going to take a little while. We've got like 6 million ships coming back with um, barrel core fragments. There's going to be a bit of a bit of a bottleneck unloading there for a little while. 
And we're going to be lacking some other... That's erudite. It's probably not that bad. But we might slow down on some other core fragments for a moment. But hopefully we've finally got things working properly now. We're currently trying to send 2816 yet again. The one with the, that needs to go via Foenestra. Even more barrel core fragments. Fan Loretastic. Okay. It, when I upgrade to the the bigger ships, we're either okay. Let's suppose that disallowing the ships from landing until this is empty, so that they get unloaded all at once, and hopefully that gets rid of that rare bug. Um, supposing that works. When we upgrade to the bigger ships, we're going to need a lot more storage capacity. Um, let's see. 81 buffer chests, and all of them are going to be completely full. Oh. Yeah, no, that's right. Well, they're almost always all going to be completely full. Unless we're bringing back broken batteries or something. Uh, so... 77,760. Um, how much can we store here? 96 times 48 times... Can I not? There we go. 23. Uh, 105k. Wait, no, I... I definitely calculated that wrong. Uh, 44,000... Yeah, so we're gonna need, like, 50% more storage space here. If we're gonna do it that way. Or... Hmm... If I use different colored wires here and here, I could check... Does that even reach? It does. I could check the contents of all of this, which adds another 720... Uh, 1440 stacks. Another 28,000... 29,000... Okay, 28,800 plus this, uh, 70, that, we're like four or five thousand short, if we use all of that space, compared to how much the big ships can carry. It's fine, we'll just add a bit more storage, like, here, or something. Hello there, Hopspec. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, Spell Evader Cable is down here. Why do I still have these core fragments? Oh, no. Do I have a mostly empty chest somewhere? Um... This wouldn't happen to be a purple core fragment planet. Not quite the right kind of purple. Alright, just put it in my trash slots. And don't walk into that robot network. Oh my god. And then... Take all of these for now. And we need to stay here until the space elevator uh, space elevator is working again. Um, I think I'll set. Oh, it's on manual. Oh, good. So 
so we can probably fix that without having to watch it like a hawk. Would have trains take away a load or two while you're unloading throw the count off? Uh, only in a way that would be beneficial to the problem that I was thinking about. We need to make sure there's enough space. Um, well, the idea is we make sure there's enough space for the ship to fully unload before it lands. Just like this. Uh, once we get down to zero for barrel core fragments, there's probably a ship waiting to land with barrel core fragments. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. So that red light right there is saying... It, it's basically a stoplight for the ship that wants to land here. This will be a green light when the ship is reporting it's ready. Evil Plot, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, my forlorn hope is that this will prevent ships from randomly taking off like 2% of the time when they've still got some core fragments and kidnapping some bots. So we just need, uh, isn't it like 5.4k? That's like two, tr three train loads, right? Yeah. We need three trains to come and pick up these core fragments. Before we see if that's working. Spellevator is almost ready to go again. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to... Well, I'll wait for the elevator to work again. I don't think it's going to reconnect the train. Okay. 3.8k to go. Fantastic. Also, I noticed even though we have a splitter here, um, we end up with imbalanced core fragments here. Because if it ever gets full, the length of the difference in the length of the belts, which act as a storage medium, uh, will throw it off so that we'll end up more end up with more on this side. So we'll probably just set this a little bit higher, like ten percent. Um to prevent A train from getting stuck here, especially since I didn't bother putting signals between these two yet. So it's just one sector. Oh. Oh, I missed it. Tag Uh But yeah, as you can see, we're... We're going to be emptying this ship with no interruptions. And I'm hoping, for whatever reason, that prevents the rare bug where the ship launches... before the bots and the core fragments are gone. Well, even if we watch this and it works perfectly, we're just going to have to give it possibly hours before we can say it seems like the bug has gone away. Um, but yeah. And launch. Do we have one that's closer to empty? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Holmium core fragments aren't moving as fast. Oh, we're here to fix that as well. Um, uh, let's see. Spell evade is working. If we get in... Oh, God. If we get in this train... Uh, that's a little weird. And then... This, I'm, I'm pushing forward, not back. Um, oh no. Now, now it's swapped. I have to press back now. Okay, okay, careful. It's very fast. There we go. Did we fix it? I think we fixed it. 
It doesn't have a schedule. Can I borrow this guy's schedule? Uh, no? Hmm. I have an idea. Copy paste. Fantastic. And should be good to go now. Cool, cool, cool. And here we have a ship, which brought elevator cables. Nice. Alright, back to Gen Orb. Beautiful. And... And I wanted to double check that we fixed... Uh, looks like that's working. I wanted to double check that we fixed... Um, Holmanite. Well, this will continue to be fine until we get rid of these excess beads. But I think we want to make this thing a whole loop. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We need more than half a belt of beads. We need more than half a belt of crushed. So I think if they come out on separate sides and then merge, uh, which is what's happening, that should be fine. But it all comes back here and doesn't go back here. Trains are happy again, indeed. Did you figure out the mystery of the decapitated, uh, decapitated train? Uh, yeah, basically. But it wasn't a mystery, it was the... When the space elevator reactivated, the train that had its head had already gone through here. Uh, basically didn't get reconnected. Hey, here's that entity I was talking about. Space elevator tug. It's like a fake little train-like entity. Um, to facilitate this stuff somehow. Anyway, um, fingers crossed, that's actually working. We're going to have to start paying attention to where our ships are going. I was just about to check that we had... Um, No, no, temperature's high and we've got a used up fuel cell. That should be fine. Why are you not launching? Why... Why is this ship not launching? It's got purple core fragments in it. How did this happen? Did you know you can subscribe free with Amazon Prime? It's free chat. Free. That boy not so slim. Thank you so much for your Prime sub again. And 14 months. Much appreciated. And welcome back. It looked short on a full load. Wait, which did? Um, hold on. I have to think about how to launch this thing. It should already have its destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I can literally just click launch. And that'll sort itself out. Free, you say? Glacier Wolf, thank you very much for the two months of the Prime. Thank you so much. Um, I just want to double check this thing has its memory cell set up. It should. The, the mystery is how it ended up with some purple... Oh, I think I know the answer. This is the one that was dropping off purple core fragments in the wrong place, and the robot network was checking for the wrong type of core fragments, so it basically didn't know it had these. Alright, so those are going to end up back in the mall, I guess. Um, ID 16, that sounds right. Fantastic. Does that mean our ships are now working, uh, at Moss Garden? 
should be launching soon. Wait. Why is the ship is full indicator flickering? I think it's got something to do with the bots moving the core fragments here. Also, why are they bouncing off this spot? That looked kind of weird. It's probably fine. As long as the ships can keep up with the fragments. Yeah, we've got some catching up to do, so we've got constant trains of core fragments coming in right now. <laughs> yes, free. Thank you, Jeff Bezos. Um... Where are we? The only trouble is now I don't have any indicator of... I don't have a quick indicator of how many ships are going to which outposts. Also... Um, I was thinking of adding a display here. At... At... Act ships... This is dispatch. Yeah, 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 that was a label to remind me what goes where. Um, let's borrow... Well, I was going to say... Oh, are we done here? Done deconstructing all this stuff? More or less? I need to get this ion stream back into the network. That's a little bit too much of a waste. Petroleum and heavy oil as well. Um, I'll just ignore it for the moment. But suffice to say, I think we can put our construction trains back on schedule. Whoops. And I just want to take a little bit of plating though. Give it give it back. Okay, where are you taking the plating from? I don't want to imbalance it. Yoink. And... Still got the lamps. Fantastic. Alright, we're going to give this bot a little visit. So I'm just going to stretch this down a little bit. And as much as I'd like to include a green light here... Uh, I don't really see a good way to get the signal color in. Hopefully that doesn't cause any weirdness. Alright, uh, we're just going to put lamps like so. That's going to be a little hard to see. Yeah, it's not that hard to see. It's probably fine. Whoops. And I'm just going to say... Uh... If raw rare... I almost typed raw, because I was trying to figure out a way to type it with just my left hand. Uh, oh my god. If raw... <laughs> if raw rare metals equals zero, then that means... There is a ship ready at that one. Let me just connect like this. And I need to change the symbol for every single one of these. The light going off will actually show us that we've configured it correctly with this one. Alright, so for example, at the Vitima launch drop-off, if a ship is ready to launch, then on this red wire it'll have a signal of zero. Currently, the only one... Oh, we don't have any ships ready to launch right now. 
Alright, so this will be Erudite, Almanite, Feral, uh, Emocite, Cryo, Red Stuff, Green Stuff. What's this? Planet negative one? Oh, I was going to use that for regular core frag to represent regular core fragments from Nalvis, I think. Okay. Uh, planet negative one. Uh, coal. Mineral water, crude oil, stone, and what's this? Iron and copper. Easy enough. So apparently we've got zero ships ready to launch, and that looks to be correct. Hurix, Petri Cottontail. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, Petri, I think I forgot to say hello earlier. If rocks, if rocks a woo lamp turns on, got it, boss? If rocks a woo, oh no. Um, and sure enough, yeah, we have zero ships ready to launch at the moment. When's the next one coming in? I want to see. Uh, I think it's probably going to be barrel. Barrel, core fragments, once this is empty. We need like four train trips to empty this. Hmm. We need a lot more train trips to empty the Immersite Cave core fragments. And that's been saturated for a long time. Pulmonite is saturated. Erudite is looking a bit slow. Uh, and Vitamelange is looking saturated. Here's, here's the problem I was talking about before. Um... Because this got full, and then emptied, even though we're using a splitter here, so we should get 50-50 on either side. Oh, I also forgot I added this to the Vitamelange core fragments. Um, which you would think would have... Uh, it's fine. Just set it so that we need like 3A in this case. before we summon a train. Gotta find that rare raw stone. <laughs> Indeed. I, the funny thing about it is you can type rare raw with just your left hand easily. Uh, raw rare. Wait, what? Oh, it's not in my, like, crafting menu, that's why. But yeah, uh, it, well, it, we can find it on a constant combinator. Rare, raw. Raw, rare metals, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, like, thinking too hard about how do I search this with just my left hand, and for some reason <laughs> completely missed the fact that I could just type it. Viking Gamer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we have Inbound. Iron Hauler 10 has Iridite. That should empty quickly. And we should be able to see if this little display system works properly. I'm pretty sure it will. Uh, we don't even have a red light here, so it's going to be able to land immediately. In probably 30 seconds to a minute. 20 seconds. Fantastic. Alright, so... Well, it's not going to happen the moment that it lands. But shortly after that, once the ion stream fills up, that's probably going to be when we get green here. 
And it's only going to be on for a moment, because once the bots start filling it up with space elevator cables or something, um, it's not going to be reporting that it's ready. We do have a destination in mind already. And... And? And then? What are we looking for? Water? No, we've got water, we've got fuel. We're just waiting for the bots to leave, uh, to stop carrying core fragments. Cool, cool, cool. So that should go green and the light where I'm standing should go white. And... Perfect. We can see we've got one ship ready for launch. Beautiful. And it should all... There it is. It's already launching. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I wish we didn't have these two ships. Well, it's going to be the one ship. Once the million barrel has been dropped off. Wait, how many do I have? Holy crap. Um... Okay, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, no, only 11 ships waiting to drop off. This one kidnapped a bot or two, but as long as it actually worked, I guess it's fine. I'll pretend that. Uh, this one's also got barrel core fragments. Vitamalunge core fragments. Uh, Vitamalunge core fragments. Barrel core fragments. Culminate. Barrel. Barrel, that's a lot of barrel. Maybe I should make another processing area for barrel just so that we can deal with this spike. So the ships can get back to moving other things. Uh, but none of them are bugged, which is the main thing. Wait, I don't think there was a single ship waiting to drop off, uh... Immersite Cave Core Fragments. Which means... We might actually see them all in motion soon. What's your problem? Oh, same problem. Um, how about you go over here... And then pick up from the nearest station. There you go. Cool. What if you just built ten times more ships? That'd also help. It wouldn't help indefinitely if it turns out our ships are occasionally getting stuck. So where are you going? Exorion? That's even more barrel? Wait a sec. Uh, that's probably fine, actually. Okay, so one of the conditions for an outpost to request a ship is... Hmm is core fragment barrel back at base is less than X, but we're waiting till it completely drains between each ship. So even if we're totally saturated on that resource, we're still gonna sometimes send ships to pick up that resource. I might want to tweak that a little bit. Let's just see how it goes. I hope one day you're going to play CDDA? What's that? Albion Line, Dungan, Philip B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How come science still not going? Um, I don't know. Well, it's probably just taking a really, really long time to saturate. We've got three more tier two data card trainloads to go. 
before we get our first load of um, broad catalogs. Other than the little bit that I dropped off here. Uh, oh, bioscrubbers. I haven't actually built bioscrubbers yet. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, we did design it. And then I chased a squirrel. Yeah, 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 here's my little reminder. I was trying to figure out where to put it, and something came up. Uh, bio scrubber. I'll just double check. Oh no, I remember. It needs a lot of everything. Um, coal, steel, glass, and vitalic acid. Which, by the way, doesn't have extract for some reason. Why do we not have extract? I thought it was saturated in space. It is saturated in space. Oh, do we just have, like, way more consumption capacity than production? 96 extract per second, and this would be at most 38, 33 per second. So that's a yes. Um, steel is over here, coal is, well, one of the most common sources is here. Hmm. I'm thinking I'll put, I didn't see that mineral water there. Oh, here it is. I'm thinking I'll put... Bioscrubbers around about here. Although I wouldn't mind keeping them close to all this other... How about here? I want to keep it close to all these other um, bioscience things. But still kind of closer to equidistant to the different sources that go into it. Alright, we only need advanced chemical plants for this. Construction train might be able to get it done in one. I thought this research was only bio one. Nope, it's bio two. Oh, this research? It is bio 2. It's also more efficient um, if I use both types of catalog. So we need two train loads of broad catalog, really. Um, it's more efficient if I use both types of catalogs to make the insight. Why is our UPS dipping? Oh, the, tr the construction train that I literally just ordered. Uh, brain damage. Are we having trouble because we picked up stone? Doesn't look like it. In fact, it looks like this one's one and done. Train's already on the way. Four trains already on the way. Fantastic. Let's confirm that it works. Could put bio scrubbers in the same block as your bottom block, since they're both half blocks? I could, but I... Well, I was going to say I wanted to leave room to expand this, but it sounds like this is going to be way ahead of our needs. Indefinitely. And that's steel. And one more. Here comes glass. I love that usually when we build something, the trains just arrive immediately. And... Oh yeah, vitalic acid. I think we're taking all the vitalic acid into space still. Um, like, we haven't saturated... Vitalic acid in space. 
And it's going to be prioritized. Um, looks like we've already got everything up here. Unless we start consuming it fast. Where do we use Vitalic Acid again? Here it is. Yeah, we've got lots, actually. It's just, um... It's just that it's got a lot to catch up on again. Or still. Also, we're prioritizing spice, which I guess is still getting consumed quite quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, since we have a backlog of Vitamelange extract, uh, Vitamelange rather, should we increase the processing for it? This gives us 50 per second. That can consume 48. Why isn't it saturated then? 50.688 Vitamelange per second. And it all seems to be working. 48 per second. But I see emptiness on this belt. Oh. It's all flowing into here directly. I forgot about that. No, it is flowing here as well, but it's going to, like, split it. Is the problem. I think I should probably do something like that. It's probably just going to take a really, really long time to saturate if we do that. Or if we leave it as is. Might be able to just speed up the core frags. Yeah, we currently have... Um, we might need another outpost for this. Oh wait, I forgot. I I definitely left some... Some core mines on the table. We could expand this a bit. What's our maximum at the moment? I think I calculated this yesterday, actually. We've got 8 times this... 45.0 per second. That's actually really, really close to the maximum this can consume. So I don't want to mess with it that much. But we've got so long to wait till that saturates. What else do I want to work on in the meantime? How much Vitalic Acid does this use? 1.2k per second. Okay, I'm not gonna, like, bother triggering an early delivery with that one, I think. Um... You know... Because this thing sort of implicitly... prioritized... extract... I set it to limit extract versus spice. But somehow we don't seem to be getting any extract now. Why is... oh... I think I can just get rid of this limit. Probably. Hold on. We've got too much spice here. How did this happen? Hmm... Maybe that should stay there. Well, that could be a problem. Is it trending down? I think it's trending down. It should be.
Oh, I had myself muted, sorry. Uh, core fragments seem to be okay. Copper core fragments, a bottleneck on that one ship because I still haven't updated. But we're not struggling with copper, so I don't care yet. Barrel core fragments are processing at full speed. Actually, it's bottlenecked on the next step. Uh, that's the old iridium processing. Let's switch this off. I already have. I want to get that sulfuric acid back uh, into the system. Turn this into an active pickup. And we'll just leave that. Hmm. I'm a little... Oh, provides stack threshold 160. I was going to say I'm a little concerned that... Stone isn't getting consumed. And let's drop this provide threshold down to 1. What's this? Crushed iridite. And... And now where's the new iridite core fragment build? I see inserters swinging everywhere, belts are saturated, that looks good. Uh, what else? Purple core fragments have been saturated for a very, very long time. Um, is that all the core fragment builds? One, two, three, four, five? I feel like there's a sixth one I'm forgetting. Oh, right, regular core fragments. I don't think... I don't think we'll be bottlenecking on those for a while. Alright. What's next? Hmm. That does seem to be working a lot better. Okay. I think I'll go speed up uh, Vitamelange. Which means I'll have to build a whole lot more as well. Well, let's get in the ship. We'll head on over to Moss Garden. Add a bunch of drills. Oh, I was going to get rid of those purple core fragments. No, I put them in my inventory. That's fine. Moss Garden Orbit and go. I should probably check on all my outposts as well. Do that after I do this. Alright. Copy paste. And probably same thing here. And I think the steps after it are much faster, so we can probably not build any more for a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Alright, please park over here. Wait for inactivity. Do another lap. Wait for inactivity. We're probably going to need more pulverizers. 
uh, we'll see how that goes for now. One minute till we get to Moss Garden. Oh yeah, let's check our outposts. Alright, so first of all... Corsal Orbit... Seems good. We're lurching because we're placing a lot of signals. Uh, this one seems good. This one seems good. I forgot to check the space elevator cables. 1.2k, 1 1.5, 4.9, 2.4, 2.9, and 4.7. I don't think that's running out anytime soon. Have we got the autoclave going on Nalvis yet? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think I've got the autoclave working right now. Yes, I do. It's Oswolf. I don't even remember where Oswolf is. Uh, let's see. It's in the Asimia system. It's Iridite, 4.2k radius. And it's close enough... Uh, Close enough to now uh, to Hagen to not even bother with uh, with the anomaly. Very cool. That'll take a while though. Let's anchor. I was thinking about making a separate drop off. I, I doubt it would happen, but in case we ever got so slow on one resource compared to the others. If we have an outpost or two uh, that never gets a ship coming to pick up the core fragments, therefore not bringing the space elevator cables, we could maybe have a separate um, dedicated resupply ship just for that use case. t -Hacks doesn't even think of the... Oh no. Oh no. Um, I should probably scan this. Should have done that before I got here. So we're just going to find... Actually, we've already got one here. Find the nearest... I could expand from that one. That's probably the way to go. Find the most accessible... Additional core fragments. And go. We're not going to add any signals over here. Eh, we could. Yeah, that's probably fine. Alright, so we're going to go straight across. Let me just plan it real quick. Straight across. Turn off rope report. And then I think this one will be front right. This one. And right about here, perhaps? Can't see where the splitter is. I think it's just straight to the right. Oh, I need to go get a rail. Pew, pew. Uh, rail go this way, steal one of our corners, and rail go this way. Let's 
Seems good. Should be able to just run that straight through. And let's go get some rail. And we'll need a drill as well. Maybe a few more drills than one. Rail is in here. Down we go. Uh, did I fly past it? Yes, indeed. We're going to need some power cables. Right about there. Uh, I can't even mark this a decon. Should be fine. And go. Are we one off if I do that length? Powering the drill? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. What do you mean can't be stretched? There's a freezer, there's a freezer. There we go. Nice and neat still. Did I not bring blue belt? Apparently. One of the things I really love about the space elevator power supply is just never having to worry about it dipping. Up we go. Give me me blue belt. Don't we need relatively a lot of loaders? And splitters, there we go. Kind of wishing I had spider-trons right now. Uh... I do sort of want to wait for... I do sort of want to wait for the science that we've got to saturate. It'll take a little while, but then we'll get a big burst of science. Okay. And there's our drill working. Fantastic. Now where do we have more... Hmm. Keep going over here. Could make a bridge over there. Both seems good. So what do we have now? 9 times 5.3, 47.78. We're pretty... We're relatively far into diminishing returns already. But I would like to at least get it to the point where um, it can definitely keep up with this block. So that's 48 core fragments per second. And what if this goes here? And here, and probably goes straight to the right from there. Turn off RoboPort. Till we figure this out. 
think I'll put it about here. Be gone, fake trees. Gotta aim more at the base. Alright. So we want front right again, I think. There it is. Right about here. Does fire spread? Normally, yes. I don't have a flamethrower on me right now, though. So I think we'll go straight through this. Um, something like that. Where's the ghost? Over here. And... Over here. Oh, that's almost perfect. Alright. Pew, pew, pew. Be careful I don't shoot my own stuff. Alright. Robots on. I think we'll add a signal here. So that if a train comes over here, a train can also pick up from here. But the individual stations are just going to keep getting slower, so I don't think we have to worry that much. Are you winning, son? <laughs> Indeed. Morbid Dragon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oops. And I think we're almost there. Thumbs up. Fantastic. Zaxon. A few vods behind on this run, trying to understand your spaceship logistics and related circuitry. You ever going to get Spider-Tron? Um, I actually just queued up Spider-Tron. Thank you very much for the four months with Prime, Zaxxon. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, I might make a video. I was already thinking about this. But, like... You know, I thought I'd wait until everything worked without the rare bugs and stuff. Um, whoops, 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 whoops. But I was actually kind of thinking about making a video to explain that system, because it is a mouthful. Where's my diagonal? Here we go. Right about there. And there. I wish we could do a diagonal snap to grid. You're in the way. Oh no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll have to do. And does this fit? Of course not. That would be too easy. Alright, I'm just gonna have to go make this one a little different. Big brain time, indeed. Yeah, so to try to get rid of the rare bug where like, 2% of the time, we find that ships have apparently launched again when they're not supposed to. Usually when they still have some core fragments in, and they kidnap a few bots in the process, and they launch from Hagen Orbit, and their destination still says Hagen Orbit. 
Um, over and over I've like thought through it and nothing makes any sense. It should be impossible. But to try to avoid it, I've set it up so that... I mean, this we'll, we'll tweak this a bit. Maybe I'll add some more storage. But basically, if currently, if there are any core fragments detected in these blue chests, we're not going to let the ship land. Um, I could probably make that number a little bit different. Just make sure there's room in the blue chests for, an, for a small ship full. Um... But if the idea is if the ship lands and gets emptied and the bots don't have to wait for space to open up or anything and it all happens smoothly, hopefully it should avoid that situation. Mocus Forales, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I think I'll put this over here. And that's not going to reach, is it? Uh, I'll just have to break my rules again a little bit here. Trying to make it all neat. Uh, but yeah, I was sort of thinking about doing a whole walkthrough explanation. Ideally from the ground up so that theoretically a novice could understand it and copy it if they if they have the will and the time um but i was thinking of like having it run without faults for a while first right i still don't know why we get double launches where like what was it? Exorion, for instance? I saw two ships headed for Exorion about 10, 20 seconds apart, even though I built in a system to say the moment that a ship is launched, or rather the moment that we're queuing up uh, a ship to launch. Back at Central, if our destination that we're getting ready to send a ship to is this location, then set a timer where we don't allow a signal through here for five minutes. Uh, and yet we still somehow sent two ships at the same time. I, I really don't understand why. It definitely would be character building doing that whole setup as a newbie. <laughs> Indeed, character building is one way you could put it. Traumatizing, perhaps? Depending on how you... Depending on your tolerance for being patient with something that's new and complicated. Um, how about here? That should be fine. And then... I'm gonna need to clear a path for that one. I think we're already above 48 per second though, right? We are. Yeah, I think I'll leave it at that for now. I don't really want to spend that much time on it. Uh, don't delete surface. Stop scans. Trim surface. Yes, trim surface. And... Just a couple more drills put, pushes us over the edge. Where we should be able to keep the core fragment processing saturated. Although, I think, uh, let me just check the ratio here. Oh. I actually forgot that I made another one of these. Brain no worky. Alright. Inactivity again. This is... Vit. Or fragment processing. And this is going to be Nugget. I think, uh, I mean, we can... 
we can add like another 10 drills or something at Moss Garden. Where am I going? But it won't add that much. Like, we've got enough here that it's worth going to a new outpost. You know you don't need to drag rails per hand. There is a trick where you build all ghost rails to any given points at once. Normally, yes. However, uh, this mod that for some reason I still haven't gotten rid of because I keep forgetting. So I'm holding shift right now. Um... As you can see, it's not marking these trees to be deconstructed, because they're sort of fake trees. Uh, I added a mod that would let me plant trees myself. Oh, where am I going? Megan Orbit. There we go. Which I never ended up using. Uh, some planets have trees that can't be deconstruction planned. Or well, it's not just some planets, some places on Haig uh on Nalvis, for example, have trees that can't be decon planned. Uh where do we have some trees that can be decon planned? Nowhere apparently. These ones can. But yeah, unfortunately, the, the usual ghost rail planner doesn't work through those. Smasher? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where would I go for more Vitamelange? Uh, let's see. We want planets and moons. We want Vitamelange. We want to compare Delta V Hagen Orbit. Where'd it go? And we want to look at radius, beta percent, solar, well, everything really. Uh, let's see. Delta V from Hagen. There aren't any close ones other than Moss Garden. So, in that case, the question is how much Delta V is it if we go via the anomaly? And a good indicator of that is low solar. So, oh, I already marked this one as we're going to go there. Bomb, Bombato. It has Biden Meteors. That's not avoidable. Uh, it has hardly any Biders. I mean, 7% on a huge planet is going to add up to a lot that we need to clear. But... 7% solar basically means it's going to be really close. Oh, it's beautiful. Very close to the interstellar map, which means the shortest possible travel time when we practically teleport there. And big radius means we get a lot for our drills. That's going to be our end game for Vitamelange. Uh, I think the moment that we are done... Well... I was going to say the moment that we're done clearing Oswulf with our beam, I'll turn it over there. Let's see, Oswulf has small radius, but it's 17% by the threat. Oh god. So we're looking at like double the radius and about half the threat, but the Bider nests get bigger further out from the mill you go. I think it's going to take about as long to clear, if not longer, than Oswulf. In which case, let's go to Calidus Orbit, now that I've come back here for no reason. I guess we've resupplied a little bit. And I'm going to expand our solar, if need be. How much power do we have? Like, 7 gigawatts to spare. Wait, how far away is it? Oswulf, 11.78% energy efficiency, so it burns a little bit slowly. Um, 
is in the Asimius. It's quite close. I have a feeling that wherever this is, Vazanus is not. It's way over here. We're going to get like 2% or 1% or something energy beaming efficiency unless I go to Vazanus itself. Is it time for a second autoclave, perhaps? I could set up energy beaming um, to power the orbital platform itself instead of putting the solar panels here. But that means we have to keep resupplying water, even if not that much water. And I really don't feel like doing that. We can just spam more solar panels. It doesn't take that much. On the scale of power that you get from being in orbit, even if you're far from the sun, if you're in the solar system, it takes very little to support core mining drills. Um, but yeah, I think either way, I'm going to expand our solar and energy beaming operation. Also, you're aware of terrible UPS to power ratio of K2 wind turbines. I personally would not keep any wind turbine anymore if my UPS drops below 60. Maybe the amount you have is still fine. We're at 59. I'm not really worried yet. Alright, so did we get this built? Looks like it. Fantastic. Well, this part wasn't supposed to be here. Oh, right, we need to switch that on, because I switched that off because we were supplying this directly. And this one... Yeah, that seems okay. Hmm. Well, that should be alright. Kevin, thank you very much for the resub. And nine months, Twitch baby achievement. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Thank you so much. Oh, we need burner turbine generators. Because I forgot about the wood problem. That's going to take a while. I don't suppose we have old burner turbines. No, I never make them. Hmm. We need exactly four. I'll, I'll just put it off for now. Let's anchor down here. Grab a bunch of solar panels. I should have made more room in my inventory first. Uh, I'm just going to make a temporary chest or two over here. Could have just control clicked, actually. I still have life support, and where's my rocket fuel? In my inventory. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, I actually did off stream make it so that the tiles are a bit tidier back here we're sneaking regular scaffolding behind the solar panels even though we can afford this stuff at scale pretty easily but it's a pretty big waste if we never even see them I forgot about all these panels. And go. Doing just fine. Just got home from a nice holiday skiing in Italy. Nice. Hope you had fun. Um, am I already almost out of scaffolding from this trip? Holy crap.
please finish the hole. Fantastic. Alright, let's do a little copy paste. And it's going to be hard to see where this goes. Oh. No, that's not right. Uh, there we go. Robot scope. Let's get some solar panels. That might help. And some substations. I wonder if we even brought enough solar panels. Bots would probably help. Oh, there's a bunch of solar panels left over here as well. Okay. I forgot the accumulators. I don't think we even need accumulators here. I just use them to fill in and not to use the space for something. It's actually going to be a pretty big increase already. And Dunsky. We have almost doubled our solar, or at least compared to our consumption. Alright, give me... Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give everything. That's all the solar panels. Just dropping bots like it's nothing. Did we go four to the left and three to the right? Unacceptable. Let's see if we can fix that. How many... 16. So we need to go to, like, here. 16 times 4. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have a feeling I'm going to run out of platform pretty quick, actually. But we do have all of this... Oh, that looks weird. We do have all of this uh, free real estate here. That might help more than expected. Let's see. This one goes up here. And I think we can at least get one more square. Cool, cool, cool. Panel missing top right corner. Indeed. Alright, copy paste. What's missing over here? One little bit of scaffolding. Oh, already out of panels. We have a bunch more back here. Cannot build on empty space. What do you mean? Okay. And I'm 
pretty sure we're going to run out of scaffolding very soon. Not quite that soon. There it is. Why are they not placing the panels? Oh, because they didn't, the ghosts didn't get put there? Alright. We have doubled. And like 99% of the power consumption will be this thing. So if we copy it. We should have a bit left over. Whoops. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in! Alright, energy beam stuff is in here somewhere, I believe. Emitter. Chamber. And injectors. Did you get that one missing power substation in the middle? Unless it was a slow bot placing it? I would say so. Also, that solar panel's bothering me. Okay, we got like three gigawatts spare. So now we have two beams clearing Oswolf. Still gonna take a while. Like, quite a while, actually. Uh, I could do another trip, I guess. Did you say three beams? Uh, no. I did not say three beams. Let's go back home. Gotta have even number of beams, so really we need four? Let's see. Okay, how's our bioscience looking at this point? We have still experimental genetic, but nothing else for tier two. Uh, not enough experimental biomass. That's it. It's all experimental biomass at this point. Which means, well, more everything, basically. What are we bottlenecked on? Oh! Oh, wow. Regular biomass is totally saturated. Why is... Experimental biomass struggling because we need experimental genetic, because we need biochemical. You're joking. Oh no. Oh no. I thought it was just a resource shortage or just a huge amount of stuff to saturate. I'm pretty sure I had to reconnect these as well, which makes it all the more embarrassing. Okay, so now we're going to be churning out biochemical data like this no tomorrow, which means we're going to be churning out experimental genetic data like this no tomorrow, which means we're going to be churning out uh, experimental bioculture, which means experimental biomass, which means the, these three types of data cards, which means we'll get to see science. Fantastic, indeed. Uh, I should have, I should have looked sooner. 
Like, I know this is a massive amount of stuff to saturate, but, like, I shouldn't just assume that it just needs more time. Looks like the trains are having no trouble keeping up with the biomass, even though the throughput is massive. Stack-wise. Kandar Jr., Larius, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are we going to see Vitalic Acid anytime soon? Uh, why is... Why is Spice so slow? Well, is Spice that slow? Uh, extract, rather. It dipped. Why did it dip? There was, like, no extract for several hours. What the hell? Well, it's coming through pretty quickly now. Had a balancing issue? Yeah, I th think I fixed that. Uh, I guess... It's probably after I fixed the balancing issue and made it prioritize spice over extract. And because we because we were saturating biomass, it just took a lot of spice. But what I want to confirm here is we've got extract up here, which means our train isn't going to steal it. Which means we're going to get vitalic acid sooner rather than 700 years later. I want to see that that happens automatically. Alright, what do we got? I left my stuff in the orbit. Uh, it's okay, I wanted to go back there one more time anyway. Calculated, I meant to do that, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's just keep adding solar and energy beams. Yeah, lots of train movement over here now. Comparatively lots. These trains are so fast that it's uh, it takes a lot to see some traffic. All right. What's the max speed of this? Oh, 18 per second? Yeah, that's actually a lot. That is actually quite a lot. I don't think we even need to pick up biochemical data for a while. I stand corrected. Alright, what should we build? Oh, solars. Go back and get our stuff from Calidus Orbit. And after we finish scorching this planet... To be fair, we've... Mm, we've taken a chunk out of it. But it is still going to take quite a while. Here we go. Time to find out. You know what I think is happening here, actually? A train comes as soon as we've got 5k spice. And then there's no more spice, and then we stop making extract. Well, same problem still. Saturate spice, and then we'll get extract. I could always lower the multiplier here. That allows us to have more extract than... Oh wait, no, I have to increase this. This allows us to have a little bit more extract than spice. 
which means this can actually fill uh, fill up, even though this isn't quite filled up. You know what would speed things up more? More autoclave. We're getting to that. Don't worry. Cool. Here comes our Vitalic Acid. Which should mean bio scrubbers, and I totally forgot. Uh, I totally, totally forgot. I wanted to make a train for bio scrubbers. There's some stuff I'll have to do here manually, like in person. But uh, scrub. Wait, I need a place to drop them off. We'll do it here with the other green stuff. Bio scrubber. And bio scrubber. And set that to everything. Now we can make a train. Cruzy what? Crussy Washcloth. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Drop-off goes here, or requester rather. Same thing. Uh, wait for empty. I want this to be one second. And full cargo down here. Cool. I forgot to check whether Bioscrubber would go into anything on the ground. Uh, let's see. It goes into Science, Advanced Tech Card. Uh, productivity module we can do on the ground, but there's no... There's no reason to. Um, we don't receive a productivity bonus. And we need bio catalog for it, so I think I'd rather do that in space. And then life support, equipment mark two. Don't care about that. Cool, cool, cool. This is fine. Let's anchor and grab our scaffolding once more. I think I'm forgetting something I wanted to check. Oh yeah. No, I think I already have the schedule for this. But we need to go put stuff into the locomotives. Beforehand. Well, by the time we have a train load or two of bio scrubbers. Actually, I wanted to see how fast that is. Ooh. Uh, I think we've almost got 60k already. 253 per second. Very nice. And scrubbers uh, do not yet have metallic acid. But they... Yeah, that's more than a stack per second. That's pretty fast. That's 17 times 3. 51k. Almost there. And then... some solar panels. Uh, let me just copy this up here so I can start dragging it out without having to think about it. How many of these do we have? Uh, it's 17. And less? Oh, there's a bit of overlap with this, with this one. goes there. And this just goes as high as it takes to fit 
and uh, here. So that's it right there. Cool, cool, cool. Dilka, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Watch yourself on oxygen. You're at half an hour. Indeed. I should make an emote for oxygen. It would work in Oni as well. How big can I go here? Kinda big. Actually, that's a really good idea. I'm going to just make a note of that real quick. Alright. We got any more scaffolding? Yes, indeed. In your pocket, take with you extra scaffolding. Too late. This is quite a lot, though. It's not a long trip. Uh, let's... Oh, wait, I've still got quite a bit of scaffolding left. Let's get started. Dragging it out over here. I'll definitely make another trip. Because I want to just drag it to the corners that we've already got. Channel point sound alert with the subnautica alert? That's perfect. Holy crap. Oh my god. Yes. Kandar genius. That's happening tomorrow, even though tomorrow won't be a game where that comes up. Alright. Let's grab all of this, and it's easier if the bots place the solar panels, and we need to copy, kind of like this. I think I made a blueprint for this, but it's like different on the left and the right, because I wanted the symmetry over here. Oxygen. I still haven't finished uh, Below Zero, not liking it as much as the original, unfortunately. May as well place these panels while I'm here. As much as we can. What the... Oh, I see. That can't be all. Oh, come on. Don't turn around just because I jetpack. There we go. You know what would be really nice for some end game or like at least halfway through the game stuff? A personal roboport with a ridiculously fast charge rate. That would be just the best quality of life improvement. Oh. Good enough for now. Uh, also, let's add the power poles. And over here. Good. 
good enough for now. And that's everything. Alright, how much power do we have now? 46 out of 63. Uh, we're like a bit over 5 gigawatts short of adding another 50% to our energy beaming. But there's no reason we can't add a little bit less for the moment. Oh, there was only five of this here. Did it not get resupplied? Where's the rest of our beam stuff? Did I not request beaming things? I did. Oh, I see. This only requests seven. All right, then. Um, did we put... You know what? I was about to say something a little bit... A little bit silly. Actually, I don't know if it's silly or not. Do we need a um, umbrella here or not? Nice. Fantastic. What do we got? Um, energy beam. I don't know if we got resupplied on all the beam stuff. Oh, there's some in here. Okay. Oh, right. I deliberately left construction bots here. No, I didn't. I have some construction bots. Uh, I deliberately left stuff here so that we could build a little bit remotely. Um, that's going to crash our power, so... So there we go. So now we have three beams. This one's a little bit less effective. Scorching that outpost. Or oh, future outpost. I kind of want to bring my stuff back. Let's just drop off some... I don't even reach it. Drop off some plating while we're here, because why not? Leave the beam stuff here. Unless it's a beam receiver, we're not going to be using those anywhere else. And give me my stuff back, fantastic. Fantastic. Alright. Let me in. Hagen Orbit. Away we go. How's Bioscrubbers looking? Zero? You're joking. Really? Products finished. Oh, holy crap. Oh, that's the wrong build. That that's the wrong build. You absolute dub. Uh where else could Vitalic Acid have gone? Nowhere. You're joking. Is this the amount that we got from from twenty thousand extract? Okay, so we multiply it by 2 times 1.32 uh, times 20,000. 52,800. It's not quite enough. One train load of Vita uh, Vitalic extract is not quite a train load of Vitalic acid. Oh no, 19 is only 57, indeed. Um, but I want more. How about, how about just temporarily? We 
we just pick up what we've got. And then change that back. Uh, I, I can't mess with the train limit until the train actually gets what it came for. It should be here in a moment. Here it comes. And there we go. That might be enough to push it over to 60k. Right then. Now, are we missing energy beam stuff here? Not even a little bit. Good to know. Oh, and the auto crafter is fully caught up. Except there's no beryllium plate for the final thing we're trying to build here. Beryllium plate, you say? I think I just haven't requested it since I messed with this stuff. Yeah, I, I think we just uh, had a bunch of ingots that we worked through. All right, here it comes. Fantastic. Are we going to need to upgrade our power here anytime soon? Not just yet. It might be worth it in Hagen orbit. In fact, it probably is. Well, I'll, I'll wait till we have high temp uh, turbine generators. High temperature turbine generator. Uh, that is nano material. I think we already have superconductive cable. Research. I temp. We need four, 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 and matter science. Okay, that's a while away. So until we get that, I'll just keep expanding flat solar panels uh, in orbit as far as we need to. But once we really scale up, since we can get ice uh, from down on the planet and we're already bringing it up here, like it's literally no more effort to have the water supply for a high temp turbine generator here that can run off energy beaming. I mean, I could... I did it last playthrough. I could use energy beam receivers to make uh, power plants based off of the heat exchangers that we use in nuclear plants, but it's going to be so much bigger. compared to if we wait for the high temp turbine generators. Okay. Ooh. Only one more type of card needed for broad catalogs. And apparently we're out of old thermo fluid? Of all things? Over here? What the hell? Okay, that's really weird that we have 25 degree thermofluid, 111,000 here. What's going on? I'm pretty sure we've got uh, idle LTN fluid wagons. There's nowhere to put out 25 degree thermofluid. Oh no. Oh no. It's not like we're trying to make more. Hmm. What did I set this to? If there's... If there's 1,000 thermofluid in here, out of 50k, we stop making new thermofluid. And we've got like... Three or four blocks like this. 
Or at least two. Here's the second one. I think it's only two. But even so... I could just make more storage for the 25 degree thermo fluid. I think that's probably the way to go for the moment. I ended up doing that for an outpost that had Ida Medias. Indeed. Empty stone also in inventory. Dankeschön. Totesla. Tot Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's borrow... Oh, wait, wait. Let's get this done first before I forget. And then let's borrow the construction train. And you are ready to go. Fantastic. Bring me those bio scrubbers if we ever get them built. Don't tell me we're just a little bit short. No? It got picked up. Seriously? Oh, it's here. It's here. Products finished. Several. So we get like... We get like a, a bit more than half of a train load of bio scrubbers. For a train load of vitalic acid, which takes a bit more than a train load of vitamelange extract. Damn. I hope we don't need um, bio scrubbers too fast. Ten makes four for bioscience two. That doesn't sound too bad. Five, one to one to make advanced tech cards. Fifty for a prod five. That's actually not that bad. And we need a handful for better life support. I should probably just make better life support right now. Except I've already got life support that I never put in my thruster suit. When do we get a better thruster suit? I could probably see myself... Oh, as soon as we get bio 3. Okay. Yeah, I could see myself squeezing in some life support once we've got... Uh... Well, maybe I should swap out a battery or two. That's probably a good idea, actually. Life support... We don't even have the recipe yet. Uh, it's very cheap to research, though, once we get bio moving. Oh yeah, we need to fix thermo fluid. I don't know if this is a temporary fix or not. You know what? I think either way... I'd like to make another block for thermofluid. So... We don't use that much thermofluid in bioscience, do we? At least as far as I've seen so far. Hmm. Let's put it over here. Where's the thermofluid build? I don't know if I've updated this, so we'll do a copy-paste. No, I think I would have updated it. Wait for inactivity, 15 seconds, we're need to, gonna need to go back for a million, uh, what are they called? Thermal radiators? We don't have the tier 2s yet. We need 48, is it? 60 thermal radiators and only uh, 10 hypercoolers. I 
I think thermal radiators stack to 50, right? We should have them lying around. I'll just grab them this time. That's 28. And that's well over 60. And then we need, what was it, 10 hypercoolers? Hyper cooler. I thought I had it on this combinator. Speaking of life support, insert Subnautica sound here. Indeed. Not even close. Alright, what do we got? Nothing? Uh, the hypercoolers are in here. But I don't see them in the train. Oh, there's already 15 here. Okay. Don't know why it wasn't adding them here, though. Whatever. Wait for inactivity. And then place blueprint. Uh, thermo fluid. Why is there a flat solar? Oh, I see. It's a flat solar panel tier to shift click. Fantastic. So it probably would help if we add more storage. The existing builds as well for 25 degree thermofluid, but we may as well we may as well increase the throughput for thermofluid while we're at it, right? Do you need the wood and coal in your inventory? It's very, very important. Just like these outdated assembly machine threes. Are we out of pipe already? I don't see any pipe that got built here. What's going on? The train didn't get loaded properly. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Whoopsie daisy. Alright. Come back here. Once you've reloaded. And don't tell me all of those are 25 degree th Oh no. One, two, three, f one, two, three, four, five? That's heavy oil for some reason. Oh, I know why. So we got like 400k 25 degree thermo fluid waiting to be dropped off here. Already. Do I have any scaffolding handy? No. I really should expand this, I think. Where's our train? Don't tell me it can't get here now. There's too many trains. <laughs> Look at all of this. I don't think our construction train can get back. Might need to give it a hand. Alright, we've got pipes this time. Don't know why it had green wire. There we go. And can it get close enough for the build is the question. Uh, probably not considering... I don't think I do have a way for it to path normally to get here. I'll have to drive it manually. It's kind of scary. Holy crap, that's a lot of reach. Um, alright. Can I put it... Nope. Not even a little bit. I'm 
going to do something a little bit sketchy here. I'm going to drive on the wrong side of the road. There we go. I don't know if we're going to get this all built in one trip, though. Maybe we can at least get it built enough to drop these things off so the trains can keep moving. Oh, we need some old-fashioned storage tanks. There we go. What do I need to do in order to discover the anomaly in my save? Uh, keep spamming uh, deep space zone discovery. We've done 15. I don't know if it necessarily comes up at a certain number, but you probably won't need to do much more than that. Naga skin. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Finally, we can get these trains out of the way enough for construction train to come back. And finish the build. Actually, wait for passenger present. I'm going to ride it back. Fantastic. So now we have... Wait, didn't I notice this because there was no cold thermo fluid? How can there be no cold thermo fluid? Oh crap! Uh, the other thermo fluid builds are jammed. Uh. Is that going to get this to work? The easiest fix would be to delete some thermo fluid, but I don't want to do that. It's slowly draining. Do I need to reconsider? Probably need to rethink the logic here. Let's see. We make thermo fluid only if there's less than 1k here. That's that's pretty solid. Um, thermo fluid, 25 degree, always gets pumped into these tanks from every source, including the train network, including this block, including new thermo fluid. Actually, actually, I kind of shaped it so that that doesn't happen. The thermo fluid from this machine is only going to saturate these pipes, and only if this is nearly empty. That's even better. That's actually even better. Except, if it accumulate, let, let's check something real quick. If the output, why is there no copper? Because it's not inputting. Okay. I was thinking maybe the output would be saturated. Not right now. But if the output can hold like 2,000, maybe that causes a problem. And we should have had a pump here, but we can't fit it. Do you measure the 1k against all of those tanks, or just the bottom one? Uh, just this one. So if there's like 1 50th of the amount of thermo fluid that can fit here then we're not going to make new thermo fluid. Do 
Did this get to working? I don't think so. Uh, we should definitely... Okay, if this is trying to pump to here, and this is aggressively trying to pump to here, I think we should just get rid of these pumps. It's actually as simple as that. And this could have gone here as well. I don't really want to waste any about this. Even though we've got too much right now, I don't want to waste any. Um, so that goes there. So, we're going to try for... how much? 300k. That's like completely full. I don't think we should do that. Up to 200k. So two-thirds full in these containers. And that can flow back and forth here, which means the output from these isn't going to get backed up. I think that's our solution. Alright, so I need to, I need to travel to the other two thermofluid builds. Wait till full cargo. Definitely not the worst time to get ahead of the game for thermofluid, though. And then up here. And we'll see if that gets this one working again. It is. That's looking much better. That one's struggling to get cryo slush, even though we've got. 9,000 over here. Wait, why is it struggling to get cryo slush? It only needs 10 per second. That's not connected? Since when? Products finished 445. Oh, it's got to be ever since I moved this over a bit so we could fit a pump. And then I didn't put a 3B here. Now we need to visit all three of them again. Okay. That's fine. That one's correct. What about this one? Uh, that one's also correct. It's only the one that was updated wrong. Cool, cool, cool. So this one should be active? No. Does the thermofluid reach? It does. And this one's really full though. That's probably going to work, but it's probably going to take a little while before it does. Okay. Meow? Meowgumin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Look what I have. An emote? Oh, that's nice. Very smooth. Permit, indeed. Okay. Uh, what was I doing? This this pipe right here. 
That's it. And this one should be able to work now. Cool. I think that's... That should fix our thermo fluid problems. And hopefully it takes less than 17 minutes before we get... Here it is. Negative 100 thermo fluid. Fantastic. We just in time to see a train come and move some... Uh... Where are you going with that? Request thermo... Oh, you're taking thermo fluid. God damn it. Paint. Update the LTN request. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. Uh, this needs to be 200k. Or something significantly below 300k in any case. Since we're letting the fluid flow both ways. Alright then. Nice. Uh, apparently we have no demand for Bio Catalog 1. We're going to saturate it. What about Catalog 3? Still looking for Bio Mechanical Resistance Data. Which is looking for Experimental Biomass, which keeps going to the other builds. Does LTN favor requests that are closer? Does it not try to balance them over time? Products finished 300 or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's actually working quite well. We're almost there. We're almost at our first uh, train load of broad. But we need one train load of broad over here and one train load of broad over here. So it's still going to take a little while. So how do I add that emote? Use emote. I had some that didn't work when I used 7TV. What's it called? Fact, fact Biter. Fact Biter. I can't see if it works in uh, OBS's chat. I can't so see need... if it oh, works oh, in... Oh, noise. Uh, no, no, no. Bad, bad. Echo. Okay. Fact. Fighter? Uh, it doesn't seem to be working. Do I need to, like... Oh, is it here? Emotes. I had to add some from bettertv.com to make it work, as opposed to 7TV. I don't know what's up with that. Or did 7TV just never work? Backed by the steer? Is it working for everyone else but me? Do I need to refresh? That might be a thing. Except I literally just loaded this, uh, this page. It's not tabbing into it. No, it's not working for me. Oh, no. I'll troubleshoot that some other time. Now then, I don't suppose we got scrubbers. We got scrubbers. Oh, right. Not a train load, though. Well, we don't even have the research to 
to do something with the scrubbers for life support just yet, so I won't worry about it yet. We're using the 25 thermofluid icon to describe this. And that's looking pretty good, actually. Albeit... Oh! I never updated the blueprint to have the beacon. I don't think we need a beacon on these machines. They're already quite fast. Um, one, two, three, four. Do I have any scaffolding on me? I do now. Where's our train? Oh. I told it to wait for me. My bad. I'll just take the construction train. How much scaffolding do we have back here? All of it? Fantastic. How's our beaming going? Honestly, it looks about the same as it did before. It really is going to take a while to clear this planet. Especially with all of the behemoth snappers. Yeah, that is... that is really slow, actually. Maybe I should make nuke weapon delivery systems. Can I put those on a ship? If I could put them on a ship, it would be pretty trivial to fly into the system and just go for it. Or we could just, you know, build some stuff on some scaffolding right next to the ship. Can I prior this? Why not? Why not? It seems like we've got some hard priority on regular bio sludge by default. No, it's actually just waiting for experimental genetic again. Which is waiting on vitamelange spice. Uh-oh. Takes such a long time to saturate. Alright, let's do something else in the meantime. Did I fix this, whatever it was? No, no, no. I need some... This needs to go here. Need some beacon magic over here. I mean, we don't strictly need it, but I would rather have it and not have to remember it someday. I set up a bunch of beam emitters with only six injectors. Several beams seems to clear faster. Um, I'm not sure about that when the target is so far away that we're on like 11.78% efficiency. Like, it has to do some damage, especially against the regen of the biters. Maybe it would be better if I put all the power into one beam. I could do that without going there. Um... Let's start with this.
Why is the power fluctuating? It's not. Okay, good talk. I have a feeling we're not going to get as much over here. That's not going to connect. Let's just see how much power we have to spare here. Oh. Instruction mode? And then normal mode? Fantastic. How much power we got left over? A bit. What? Uh, that's actually just a little bit over. So is this. The spine part of it takes a hundred megawatt for each. It's kind of rough. So those last ones aren't nearly as efficient. Uh, but yeah, now we've got 57 gigawatt, if not more. It's actually like 63 pumped into this one beam. Considering the biters and the worms regenerate, that might actually be the better way to go. Also, that beam is quite quick. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. 11% indeed. Still going to take quite a while to clear this. Let's go buff it up some more. Um, I do have more, right? Why are the beam chambers not being delivered here? Because they're in a buffer chest, that's why. That's why. Let's grab some more scaffolding. That's going to be a little bit slow. Where is it coming from? Um, let me just drop all the belt stuff, actually. Don't need inserters. Don't need pipe. Don't need chests. Maybe some steel chests. Alright, that's probably fine for now. More faster. Uh, Calidus orbit. There we go. Parental mass ejection in ninety minutes for Hagen orbit. I'm pretty sure the umbrella on the ground catches the beam in orbit. Should probably just move it up here somewhere. Where even is the umbrella? That's a receiver. Here it is. You may go. And then up here somewhere... it in there. Assuming they can reach that, we should be able to. Are we not making umbrellas here? 
Really? Okie dokie, let's fix that. Um, I don't foresee needing more than one at a time. Okay. Would you clearly recommend to start with one of the four science space X packs? Uh, good question. Let me think. Like for tier one? I think it was either material or energy. Getting material two and energy two was a good start. And then you want uh, Astro 3 for spaceships. You might want to at least get Bio 1 somewhere along the way, especially considering how long it takes to saturate. Um, what do we have here? Still nothing? Plastic. We're perpetually waiting for... I might make this a slightly higher priority because... Uh, because there's so many prerequisites that stem from this one. Or well, it is a prerequisite for so many things up down the tree. Uh-oh. Is this actually a problem, or is it just slow? Why are there no... Uh... Why are there no Vitamelange core fragments? Are we having spaceship problems? There's lots of core fragments here. We probably need another train to make to, to carry Vitamelange core fragments now. Just after I left and we need to physically, personally put stuff into these trains. Unfortunate. Well, we have arrived. Let's just get this done quickly. Give me all of that scaff. Give me some more bots. Turn off RoboPort. Make this max size. I have the three basic ones and doing Imosite now, so not sure, probably each stage one and then stage two, etc. Yeah, you certainly can't go wrong with that. Honestly, um, if in doubt, just go everything stage one, everything stage two. But take some time to look at what you're actually going to get from each... Uh, each type of science pack, especially for stuff that's really, really good quality of life, but doesn't take much volume of research to unlock. Um, and you'll have your own preferences, but there's definitely some stuff, in my opinion, that's dipping into a tier or two ahead of other sciences. Spaceships being the number one example. Alright, um, I believe that just leaves solar panels. Why is this one off? Where does, where does it trace back to? Uh, let's just copy paste like this, I guess. Even though that's going to be kind of difficult to do as in its own way. There we go. Give me those solar panels. Depending on what you pick, it makes life a lot easier. Indeed. Yeah, personally, uh, it's quality of life stuff, like pylons, for example. Spaceships, pylons, um, 
What else? I kind of did a spaghetti bioscience recently just so that I could unlock advanced chemical plants and design the builds that go into bioscience with the advanced chemical plants. You get one more productivity module and they are much faster. It makes it easier to, and they're bigger, it makes it easier to design and it's going to be better for UPS as well. Welcome, welcome, Razor K. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. More solar? Where did I leave it? Oh, there's no solar here. Okay, then. I didn't mean to take more scaffolding, but we may as well. While we're here. You know what? If I'm only doing roboports... Why did I even have a portable nuclear reactor here? Oh, that's probably fine. Probably fine. Perfect. I'm gonna run out of scaffolding very, very soon. I think that's all of it for now, right? Search. Storage. Scaff. Zero. Fantastic. Alright, how much power do we have? Another 10 gigawatt to play with? I might just leave it at that for now. Even though it's asymmetrical. Oh. Give me beaming. If I can find it. I wish we could sort these things. Hmm, I have an idea. Just shove this in here, and then control click. There we go. And I'll leave these in the storage in case we want to tweak them. Why do we put the repair packs in? Well, it's fine. Elevator, space railway. Oh, elevator's a big one, yes. Space railway. Top tier land factories. Productivity for labs, spaceships, etc. Yes. LSF. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. There's our umbrella with only 80 minutes left. Um, back to Hagen Orbit. I'm hungry. I'm going to need a break soon. And we need to fix up this train so that we can move uh, Vitamolange core fragments as quickly as they're coming in. Also, I wanted to double check that we're not having ship problems. How many ships do we have waiting? We've still got like ev almost every ship waiting to land. Oh boy. Um, what if I add some more barrel? What the f... You're joking. What are we missing here? 
It's the sand problem again? Oh, there's no path to this? God damn it. I'm pretty sure I noticed that, that at some point. So we've had a whole block not making barrel ingots. Because a train can't come and pick up the sand. Even though the sand only gets made at three per second. Oh no. How about the other ones? That one's in motion at least. Why do we have only some of these machines active? Because all the barrels on one side? Uh. Might want to fix that as well. And here I was thinking for some reason I needed more processing for beryllium ingots. Maybe I should just redesign the block or make multiple blocks so that it, we don't have to make the ratios incorrect. Just like I did with uh, Holmium. We'll do a redesign so that... Um... Is this called again? Holmium Chloride. We'll split it into multiple blocks so that when we upgrade prod modules, it doesn't break the ratio. Molten Holmium. Fantastic. What's this one? Holmium Ingots. We can probably copy-paste some of this from Holmium now. Let's see. Holmium Powder plus Pyroflux. Beryllium powder plus pyroflux. We can absolutely copy paste that block. Uh, ingots are going to be the same, I think. Sand plus molten holmium. Uh, this might be a little bit different. Nope. Sand plus molten beryllium. So those two can just be copied. Trout. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Now that I see the node path here, I remember I found a node path locomotive yesterday on my save. But Squirrel came by. <laughs> this is fine fixing now, indeed. Need to fix the track north of the sand line too, it looks like. That makes sense, because this happens when I copy-paste from, like, here. Which means I need to send the construction train back there again. Why do we have... Why do we send more trains than we have sand here? Don't tell me they, like, timed out earlier. Don't tell me all of these are waiting for sand that we don't have. Why the hell? Oh my goodness. Anyone else? There we go. Uh, it's definitely a boon to see that we can literally just copy-paste this much. The last two steps. If we're going to redesign these blocks. So we need a block to do... Oh, 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 we need to update to the, uh, the advanced chemical plants as well. So we need a build for beryllium sulfate. We need a build for beryllium hydroxide. Are those always going to... No, they have rod bonuses. They're never going to be one to one. Wait a sec. Beryllium hydro... Oh, these two. This is two different things. Well, that's unfortunate. Also, I think I haven't yet taken advantage... I remember now. I haven't yet taken advantage of advanced furnaces. 
even though we've had them for a while, but they only have the same number of rod modules. So it's not that big of a deal. But I may as well make an updated build for this as well. Alright, let's jump into the drawing board real quick. Um, I might steal... I might steal that molten build and edit it. It's under metals or something, isn't it? Here we go, Molten Holmian. But it's going to be more or less the same shape, I think. Except the advanced furnaces are bigger. And maybe we won't need as many of them. Let's see. Crafting speed 4, crafting speed 8. I think we'll just fit as many of these as we can comfortably can around a beacon and see what kind of comparative rate we have. So that was on that side. Do we even want to try to fit? Probably. We could literally do in half a block what we were doing in a whole block with this. Assuming we can fit it at all. Which I think we might be able to. Um, we need prod modules. And we need to see how far up this goes. It's three as opposed to four vertically. So we're not doubling it. How many is this? 32 versus 24. If there were only 16 here, it would be the same speed. 537 per second versus 358. Um, and we need 76 holmium powder. And we don't need any sand or anything, so just one purple belt, once again, will be enough. Uh, I think we'll move all of this in by one tile. That's actually lining up perfectly. How much fluid? Fluid's not that fast. Don't need to stress about it. Is this six? No, it's not. Uh, seven tiles long. I think we'll just do it like this. Unless... Why don't we do it the old-fashioned way? Oops. Why doesn't that line up? Yes, it does. Alright. So output's gonna look like that. Um, we could do our purple belt this way instead. That's actually not gonna line up the way I want it to, because the station's in the way. I could send it down the middle and then split it, I guess. We're using hardly any pyroflux, right? 15.3 per second. So the shape of the pipes isn't that big of a deal. Symmetry go burr. Doesn't line up very well. Let's 
since we just need the one belt, I was thinking maybe bring it down like this, and then down here just split it. And we could do blue belt from here, I guess, but it would not exactly look tidy. How much do we need per machine? 3.2? May as well use superiors. Don't forget that train you made. That's a good point. We should probably get that moving first. Um, grab the usual stuff. Fantastic. Go get them. Destination full. Apparently we don't need another train picking up Vitamelange core fragments yet. Hmm. You know what? Uh, I do want signals here. Let's get those fixed up. Because I could foresee a train getting stuck on one side, and I don't... That's the wrong one. don't want it blocking the other. Construction train, I choose you. One... Two, three, four, five should be all it takes. And I'll send this guy to the depot. Okay, back to the editor. The editor's a lot less stressful. You can you can just forget your problems and stop chasing squirrels for a minute. Can't put these here. How about like this? Oh, it's actually pretty tidy. This way we just have one splitter to supply it to all three. It's kind of neater, more symmetrical. And for the sake of consistency, that should be a long one. That looks about right. And same thing on the other side. You know what? Let's let's go ham. Can't have too much molten holmium. Uh, can we flip this? Of course not. That would be too easy. Cut and flip. Fantastic. Why is this up here? Huh. Why is this up here? Kind of strange. Okay. And we need the molten... Well, not molten. We need the pyroflux to find its way in as well. I want it to line up with the way we did it in the middle. Because why not? 
You know what? I think I'll do it this way as well. Oh, there's not really room. Not really. I could put it here. That's something I hadn't considered before. That actually... Hmm... We don't normally, like, ever build in, like, this space. But this one is unique to this block, right? So I think it's probably okay. It looks pretty tidy as well. It looks very tidy. So then... Up here. Uh, if it's only supplying uh, up to a thousand per second, we could do the drop off the same way on both sides. Why not? Don't forget the wire. But I think we'll maybe connect these two. Wait a sec. No, that's the output that's high, not the input. 30 per second. Yeah, we don't need this. But we do need the pyroflux to find its way in. How about... Something like this. That seems pretty neat to me. And this will become our, probably become our standardized molten build. Copper also takes one physical in and one fluid in. It's actually slower oh, on the physical side. And of course, iron would be the same as copper. Uh, anything else? Molten, molten... Molten iron goes into steel. And then we have molten beryllium, holmium, no such thing as molten iridium or iridite. Yeah, I think this will become our, our new standard for molten anything. All right. That's a lot of storage as well, which I'm perfectly happy with. Seems good to me. I think I already measured this and found... Oh, never mind. That actually links up? No, it doesn't. I wouldn't want to do it anyway, because I want to pump in this direction. Instead of... Hmm. No, uh, I, I think... Uh... I think I only want the big containers on this side that are connected to the pumps that go straight into the train. We want to make sure if we've got 60k we can load it into the train very quickly. And for the sake of symmetry... 
That'll do. Alright, we need to test input. And... Pyroflux. And we need to do something... Whoops. About this. It's so hard with the purple belts to just glance at it. It looks like it's going backward all the time. Yeah, Pyroflux shouldn't have any trouble keeping up with that. And we'll make sure that all of the machines get at least one product finished. It's really hard to see which ones of these are active compared to regular furnaces as well. They don't glow. They're very quiet. Or is it just me? Let's compare it to an industrial furnace. I can barely hear it. Maybe I've just got the sound lower than usual. Come to think of it, I think I have. Oh, I can still hear the spaceship claps pretty clearly. Is the volume okay? No one's commented. I think you missed a pipe connection on the left half at the top. Left half at the top. This one? Yeah, I did. I was thinking of making that connect like that earlier. Probably will do that. Oh, this one's like a little different. Even so, I'd like for this part to be symmetrical. Cool, cool, cool. That's pretty good. We've got the absolute maximum that we can fit under one beacon twice. I'm pretty sure. Actually... Maybe if you put these... Like, here? No, I don't think that would even work. It's fine. Either way. It's going to look a little bit more consistent. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, products finished. Yes, fantastic. Takes a little while to saturate to the end, but that's okay. And... Don't even need to update this. I will update the station name with Advanced Furnace. Cool. And then? Molten Holmium seems good. Blueprint Molten Holmium. Uh, and while we're at it, we'll make versions of this for everything else, so that we don't have to go to the trouble later on. 
I'm pretty sure we can use the exact same belt shape and everything. Alright. And... Where did I put those cheat items? Here they are. So if we change the recipe to... Molten... Beryllium. And get a pile of stuff on the ground. Uh, let's double check. Still less than, I think it's the exact same ratio, still less than one belt of beryllium powder. One solid, one fluid in, including pyroflux, one fluid out. Beautiful. Just update the station names. And we're requesting beryllium powder. It's probably got the same stack size. It's got twice the stack size. Uh, so two train loads. Because why not? Probably because we want to make sure we make both sides of the block do the work, actually. So I'll set this to like... 1.5 train loads each. And... Powder. And Molten. And remove the Pyroflux from this one. And that should all be good. I kind of want to update the last one I just made. Molten Beryllium. Snap to grid A D six twenty five one. Is the right north train stop requesting fluid in the Holmium blueprint? I don't think so. We're going to update the Holmium blueprint anyway, because if this train load, if this train only drops off to this side and this train only drops off to this side for the solids, uh, I want to reduce the amount that we're requesting on each side. So it'll even distro it a bit better more early on. All right, Molten Beryllium. And then... We did indeed not request the fluid on the right side. Um, what was it I wanted to change? Oh yeah, the request amount. So we just want 1.5 train loads. E six twenty five one Fantastic Uh wrong place. Let's put that here. Seventy five K on the request. Oh you're joking. How many times am I gonna do that? Uh, 7.5k, and because bulk rail loaders don't play nice with select new contents, we're going to need to do this from scratch again. Alright, E6251, 
Molten Holmium. Alright. Hopefully that's the last time. I'm just going to call this advanced. Alright. Just two more builds to change the recipes for this, I'm pretty sure. Iron and copper. Look at that pile of stuff on the ground grow. Alright, so just to double check, each half block only needs 46 enriched iron per second, and a small amount of pyroflux, and it only outputs one fluid, and you know, that should be fine. Um, molten iron... It's possible we have an incorrect station name on one of the other ones, but I don't think so. So we just need to change this to Enriched Iron. 7,500, not 75,000. Fantastic. And then it's requesting Enriched. And out comes Molten Iron. Easy enough. Eighty six twenty five one. Advanced Molten Iron. All good. Uh, not sure where I have it, but I'll I'll just put it in the same block as all of this for the moment. And last but not least is copper, which is going to be the exact same ratio. Also, I think you are requesting Pyroflux on the second station. No, I right-clicked it. It's fine. Alright, so this is going to be 7.5k enriched copper. Right-click. This becomes copper... Enriched copper. And pyro flux. And last but not least, output station name Molten Copper. Cool, cool, cool. Blueprint. Molten copper. Snap two eighty six twenty five one, and that should be it. Right now, we just need to get to the task of replacing some of these old builds, but especially, uh, especially holmium. There's, like, nothing here right now. I think this is a real... No! I was going to say this is a really good opportunity <laughs> to swap this out. Let's just let it finish that off. I don't think it'll take very long. Five thousand? Divided by fifty-one. Uh, it's going to take, like, less than two minutes. And we can just, like, patch this as well. I'm going to go down there. And bring...
bring me back whatever I usually carry. Alright, taxi. Away we go. Zarius, did I not say hello? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, um, let's hijack the construction train. And drive over here. I was wondering why it was so slow. Just traffic. Oh, there's some iridite core fragments. Good, good, good. Are our spaceships still moving? We've still got like half of them waiting to drop off. Almost all of it barrel, I think. Good gravy. So I really need to hurry up. That's Holmanite, that's fine. I really need to hurry up and make this new block for Molten Barrel. So that we can store all of this and get the ships moving again. Alright, is this empty already? It is. And I'm realizing the bots are going to steal this and do stupid things. I'm just not going to worry about it. We're also going to lose a tiny amount of pyroflux. I'm not going to stress about that either. Uh, we're definitely not going to pick up that... Uh... Well, this will push it into here, but other than that, we're not going to pick up this Molten Holmium. Right, blueprint time. Molten, advanced Molten Holmium. Go. Can the bots do their thing, or are they confused? Probably confused. Good grief. Why why are the bots all why is it all this cargo wagon? Oh my god, it's not. Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me. We didn't bring the advanced furnaces. No, we have we have a few at least. Probably not, uh, 48, though. They stack to 20. Oops. Oh, boy. Chip C? No, that doesn't work with cargo wagons. We should probably stop carrying industrial furnaces now. I don't see myself building them anymore, or at least not often. Maybe sometimes if we can squeeze one into a small space. Alright, are our bots done here? Looks like. Go forth and restock and come back here, please. 
Fantastic. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I kind of want to put some... With the dark advanced furnaces, I kind of want to see what uh, black reinforced concrete would look like. Which we've already got in our old concrete train. How about you park over here? Wait for a good amount of inactivity. Because bots tend to respond quite slowly when we've got lots and lots of floor tiles that we're trying to place. Damn, that is fast. <laughs> that looks funny. I like it. Alright. Where's our train? It's on its way back. I just heard the sound. That means it's, uh... It's loaded. Hmm, maybe a lighter color to contrast against the advanced furnace? It did occur to me before I brought it here, but I, I wanted to see what it would look like. I'm thinking regular concrete, or reinforced concrete. Probably the best way to go about this. Hey, we have a train coming. Once this guy gets out of the way. Fantastic. Um, now, I'm not going to be able to just slap it together to get barrel going. First step we need to do... Hmm. These are going to be, like, relatively small... No, I don't want to have to redesign them again. I'm just going to do a whole block of these, or, like, half a block of these, half a block of these, half a block of these. And we'll just build more or less of them, depending on the ratio. I don't want to have to make the ratio wrong, because prod modules get changed later on. Alright, so what's this? Two in, three out. Very straightforward. The beryllium sulfate. Maholic, thank you very much for the raid. Veldak, nice and quick. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How is your stream today? We were just beginning to upgrade a whole lot of furnaces to advanced furnaces. Um, I don't think we need this here anymore. And we'll put in our standard block. And then we need uh, advanced chemical plants. We've got those. Uh, was it beryllium? Yeah, 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 it's beryllium. I'll just paste all the steps here. And we'll do a half block for each of these. Lots of beams melting Nalvis, though, of biters. Fantastic. Actually, what if we took a little brick? Oh god. Oh god. If I'm in a train and I jump to the editor, it spits me out of the train. Um, and that left me on the tracks. Good to know. Good to know. 
Alright, let's go refined concrete here. Let's see what it looks like. I can't see the... What? Do I, do I have to, like, shift-click it or something? Refined concrete. Yes, yes I do. Okay. Does that still have Black Reinforced Plate Ghost? It does. Kyle Ghosts be gone. And... Oh. Alright, let's try that. Uh, reinforced Concrete, yes. Black Reinforced Plate, no. And we'll give that a chance in a few minutes. Now then. Uh, since you mentioned the Beams and Nalvis... I thought we'll take a little break from slowly scorching Oswolf, which is kind of pretty far away. As soon as that behemoth worm dies, I suppose. How, long, how quick is this one dying? Not that slowly. T uh, C CFT, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, welcome. How deep in is Power Beam as anti biter weapon? Uh, energy 3, and I think Material 2? Material 3, probably. Energy Beam? Yeah, it's Material and Energy 3, and Astro 3. Damn. Anyway, uh, let's point this at Nalvis. Never mind the fact that we've still got... We've still... Holy crap, that's fast. We've still got infrastructure on Nalvis, and some of it might get a little bit uh, scorched. But it's going to be really nice to be able to declare Nalvis by the, th uh, by the free. Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of quick. That is kind of quick. <laughs> the spawn is dead by the time it points directly at it. Fantastic. You know what? While I'm mucking about in the editor... Wait, I'm not mucking about in the editor. Yeah, wait, yes I am. Yes I am. Uh, I'm just going to hop in the construction ship. And we'll head on over to Calidus Orbit again. As soon as I... Why is my battery... Oh, I have no battery. That makes sense. It's huge. Mm, toasty biter, indeed. Alright. Um, drop all of this crap. We're not going to need it. Where we're going. Why are the bots not picking it up? I guess put it... Oh, I don't even have that giant container anymore. Chuck it in here. Uh, I am going to need the pylon substations. Alright. That'll probably do for now. And... Where's our train? It's busy. I'll just fly. We're going to fly the construction ship back to the sun and make the beam even faster, even hotter. Much schnell bitte. Alright. Uh, construction ship is over here. 
Alright, dust orb. Calidus orbit. And just make absolutely sure we're not going to anchor by mistake. He dropped the... dropped off the pylons? Did I? Saw this. Well, we've got some in here. Lighted pylon substation. It's fine. Okay. Edged up. Uh, beacon. That's in the wrong spot. Let's see, what's our IO? One solid, one fluid, two solids, one fluid. Two solids, one fluid, one fluid, one fluid, one solid, one fluid. Okay, so we're not going to be entirely copy-pasting here, but I'm hoping, depending on the rate, we can just... Do basically the same build three times. Negative 70% perfection. That's not right. So what would our rate be for this one? Uh, pretty tame. Actually, no, the barrel is really, really fast. Um, 192 per second is more than two purple belts. And probably way beyond what a block of core fragment processing provides us with. 50.688 barrel per second. So I think... We'll probably just drop this down to this size. And that'll only give us 42 beryllium per second. Uh, and we also have to deal with some sand output. It's hardly anything, though. Is this the only one with a junk output? It is. All right. This is going to go here. This is going to go here. This is going to go here-ish. Then we're going to need a drop-off. So, just one solid, one fluid input. Nice and easy. How fast was the input? Really fast. Really, really fast. So, purple belt go. And over here as well. Do you have trains on your spaceships? I do not. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then we can put our fluid input here. Do a nice straightforward input down the middle for sulfuric acid. How fast is it? 32 per second, super slow. And I think it'll look better if we do something like that. If we're doing the output down the middle, we'll start it there. And water. How much water? 
52 per second. Uh, I guess we could... Let's put the water here. We're not going to need to pick it up that often. It doesn't have to be the fastest unload. Or load, rather. That can just go straight there. And I think we'll do something like this. Perfect. Don't forget the wires up here. What? No, that's wrong. Just got to connect to the logistic train stop input. And that looks about right. All right, let's just double check. It was less than a blue belt. For multiple purple belts input. Well, let's just use purple in case we up upgrade this one day. Long arm? Right about here. And we will balance it like this, just by limiting each cargo wagon. Since it's, well, what's the stack size? Uh, 40, it's 50, right? No, it's stack size 100 for beryllium sulfate. So it's less than half a stack per second. I don't think we have to stress too much there. Seepercat, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's the rest of your stream? Uh, how was your stream? Odaba, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... Uh, I just need to configure and test this, that's all. It's only one input. With the solids. Sulfuric acid. Simple as that. Simple at... Wait, no, we need the sand. Whoopsie-daisy. Um, we should probably use a splitter for the sand because we want unlimited storage in here. shape this part. Actually, let's name it for the thing that we actually want. And I need a splitter like so. Well, this could, this could be yellow belt, honestly, but let's just stick to one color. Vanilla, most of the advice I see is to just build a lot of power, and efficiency slash green modules are kind of ignored. 
Is it different with these mods? I notice your beacon has a mix of speed and efficiency modules. Well, especially when you're putting this many modules in beacons, uh, power consumption can add up real fast, and the machines individually can be really thirsty. So by default, this thing consumes 1.81 megawatt of power. Um, but with efficiency modules, you can drop it down to 350 kilowatt. Um, I, I usually like to have my the right mix of speed and efficiency modules so that I'm at or close to negative 80% power consumption, but with maximized productivity and then speed after that. And look, the more power you consume, the more power you have to produce, right? So it's up to you where you want to deal with that. High-end modules in SE have huge energy penalties. They do, but also the high and efficiency modules uh, have insane energy consumption reduction. So you don't even need as many of them to have negative 80% power consumption. They're also going to produce a lot of things so quickly that you can't even keep up with them with belts. Like, hence, you know, I've got less than the maximum number of uh, chemical plants that I could fit here. Um, because we're consuming more than a purple belt of barrel and an entire block of core fragment processes only gives us like 50 barrel per second. So yeah. Um, and then I think that's our build for the first one, right? This is going to be sand and water. I could put a flare stack on the water, but it's coming out so slowly, and we're priority 100-ing it. I don't think we're going to, like, fill up on water. I've seen in vanilla art... Uh, one green module can save one solar panel, but it's just a matter of the ease of ease in vanilla of getting more than enough power with nuclear. Yeah, uh, vanilla doesn't scale like SE does for power consumption. All right, I need to do station requests. Sulfuric acid. My standard request is 100k. 60k per double car, uh, double fluid wagon. We're only consuming 32 sulfuric acid per second, so that should be way more than enough. As for barrel, um, let's just ask for a couple of train loads. That usually keeps the trains coming in as fast as possible, or as fast as we need them to. Sounds like you could still overkill the power, but it's got reasons to consider efficiency here, indeed. Late game you can really uh, oversupply power, but it takes a while to get there. You can get, like, a gigawatt and change out of every single high-temp turbine generator. But you need some some pretty high-tech to utilize that. Okay, uh, station name is requesting barrel and sulfuric acid so that we can shove it into an advanced chemical plant. And out comes sulf... beryllium sulfate. And I'm not going to bother to name the, like, byproducts. That looks like it's done. So this build alone uh, goes way faster than our entire block of beryllium core fragment processes. Should have done this sooner.
Beryllium sulfate. Don't forget to remove the cheat items. There it is. It's so small for how insanely fast it is. Alright, uh... Beryllium? Where do I want to put this? How about here? And we should probably start building that. Also, we're here. At Calidus Orbit. Where do we want to put it? So I'm going to be removing or replacing... 1, 2, and 3 beryllium ingot builds that start f from barrel itself. Uh, I obviously want it to be close to barrel core fragments. We would probably put another barrel core fragment build here, actually. Like, immediately. That won't saturate too quickly. That'll get some of the barrel out of the way. Wait for inactivity. And I think we'll put... Our new build here. So let's grab our construction train. Is this it? Yes. And park it over here, and with any luck, it'll get both of those builds done with no further oversight from us. Let's spam some more scaffolding. Cross. Oops. I have no bots. Okay then. Oh no. That works. There we go. Oops. That was faster than expected. See for Calidus, indeed. All right. How flat can I make that? Not flat enough. Am I, can I fill this out? Before we run out. The Goosen. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Slightly too wide. Oh no. Oh no. Let's grab all the solar panels. And I need some accumulators, I need some bots, and I think that's about it. Copy, paste, that'll do for now. Why is that messed up? Can't even see where it is now. Let's just build and see what happens.
Got a bit more room at port range this time. out of solar panels. How much power do we have now? A spare... almost 20 gigawatts. Let's add a little bit more... Where's the rest of the beaming stuff? Oh, I wish this was sorted. It's getting to be a problem. I can't tell if I've got it or not. We do have it. There it is. I know I, I brought a bunch of this earlier as well, so we've got a million spare. And then... maybe... Maybe we can squeeze in a little bit more. Ooh, that's that's a cozy fit. That's looking pretty good. How's Nalvis doing? Nalvis is vibing. Look at those trees disappear. Yeah, that's a pretty quick way to deal with biters. Especially considering that it's fully automated. And doesn't require munitions or logistics of any kind. Still gonna be a long road to actually clearing the biters. You had some in a box at the site also? The solar panels? Yeah, I used them. They're gone. Oh, these ones. Yes, yes, yes. Shift C. That's not what I had in mind. Okay. Uh, that should be fine. Alright, back to Hagen Orbit. Make sure we leave this uh, anchor to target left clamp signal switched off. Otherwise, bad things will happen if we're in the editor when we get back. Oh, did we finish that build? Looks like... Oh, oh yes, that's a big yes. Alright, um, it was sulfate, right? Beryllium sulfate? Did we put the new concrete here? Not yet. Let's give that a try. Maybe I should try the, uh, the lighter reinforced plate. Let's see what this one looks like first. This is what I should have been doing with these trains, where the bots can be slow to react because tile ghosts. Wait at least 30 seconds and 5 seconds of inactivity. Anyway, uh, core fragment processing is also going burr. For barrel core fragments. Now let's finish the job. Wait for inactivity. Oh, why are we down to 50 all of a sudden? 
48. What is happening? Now we're back to 55. We're not building like a million signals right now. Oh, it's this. It's probably this. Could be. I definitely don't love the look of reinforced concrete behind behind the advanced furnaces. Indeed. Yep, buddy. Let's go with light reinforced plate and see what that looks like. All right, back to the drawing board. Um, we're not going to be needing this part. The rest is probably going to be somewhat copy-paste edit. So we've done beryllium sulfate. Next is... Uh, beryllium hydroxide. I'm surprised that science hasn't kicked in yet. It takes a really long time to saturate. But that said, I will double-check it. So what are we looking for? 106 sulfate per second and a really small amount of crinite rod. So I think we know what to do about that. Um, also consumes water. Uh, it doesn't recycle water or anything. No, it's a pretty straightforward recipe. Let's empty those belts. Okay. Uh, and we're looking for... Set filters blacklist. Oh, I see. How about you just get rid of the barrel first? Now then. I was considering putting the uh, Frynite rods down the middle, but... That could actually get seriously imbalanced. Yeah, I'm at the point where I'm just... I'm just doing purple belt because there's no... There's no justification for it except that it's just easier to do the one color of belt. Okay. It's not filtered. Crinite rod, crinite rod. Fantastic. Did we get rid of the barrel yet? Not even. Be gone. That's a little bit faster. All right. Uh, and I may as well set this filter to what it's actually supposed to be. Why do we have no... There we go. So what's our rate for crinite rod? 4.266 per second out of stack size 200. That is a slow one.
so we'll request uh just like plus a thousand one train load plus a thousand should be fine we need water We need beryllium sulfate, which actually stacks to a hundred. Couple of train loads. And that should be fine. Technically, it could get imbalanced and busted. I don't think that'll happen. Because Cronite Rods are so slow. And obviously we don't need inserters to output. Um, I think we'll still do the fluid input down the middle. And how fast is this? It's still relatively slow, like the fluid is quite slow. So I think we'll just do one huge storage tank, a uh, huge storage tank should be more than enough. On the other hand, if I add a couple more we can easily quickly load a train and we can also make this wire reach and we can have in obscene even more obscene storage for beryllium stuff which we're sort of trying to get rid of at the moment fewer stacks in the train means more room for random Robot chunk? Indeed. Uh, I think that one is fine. Is this some kind of sandbox mode? It is editor extensions. Uh, it's a mod, and I've got it set up so that mod settings per player. Uh, basically, testing lab set that to something other than off. And you'll have a surface that is, like, parallel to your main saved game. Fantastic. Alright, let's finish that build. Just Blueprint Sandboxes mod? Uh, the mod is called Editor Extensions. Spondev? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right, beryllium hydroxide. It's going to be picked up from here. And this one is, I already did it, didn't I? Just need the station name. Sulfate. And water makes beryllium hydroxide. And that is honestly probably going to be way faster than we need for a long time. 106 sulfate per second. What does this build give us again? Only 42, holy crap. And that one's really thirsty as well. Wait, that's fine. That is fine. So finally we see beryl not saturated. That's actually a good thing. Now Big Brother knows how often you skip brushing your teeth? Oh no. Running a train base and now... At the point to automate transport to space. Very cool. That's a really nice uh, milestone when you get trains 
bringing stuff up the space elevator with no further oversight. Which sciences are automated at this point? Uh, Astro, Energy, and Mechanical 3. And theoretically Bio 2, but it's taking forever to saturate. Uh, we still don't have that last little bit of biochemical, biomechanical resistance data. We're always, always, always short on our prerequisite here for experimental genetic. And that traces back to Vitamelange Spice. Hmm. I would have thought something's busted for it to take this long. Let's check out... Uh-oh. Vanilla core fragments are full? You what? What? Is this a joke? I checked on this earlier today. It wasn't, like, doing much. Look at this. This is empty. Um, I guess we need to go ham on the requests for vanilla core fragments. 300, uh, let's say 600 stacks. 12,000. Make it so. Because I don't think we actually need another block to process vanilla core fragments yet. Oh, a CME is here. Oh, in one minute. Cool, cool, cool. Nemzi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Time to panic, indeed. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. Um, I want to have a peek at this uh, train block here. Okay, there go the vanilla core fragments. Good grief, how did that happen? Don't tell me this is the reason that we haven't... Uh, Vitamelange core fragments. Uh, it started up four hours ago. So I don't think so, especially because I think I added a kind of gratuitous extra core fragment block here. A while ago. Both of them? Really? Both of them. Both of them filled up on... Vanilla core fragments. Ravna. How's our power? It's not even feeling it. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that a CME? I thought I felt a slight tickle. Where's our umbrella? Umbrella. Here we go. Why is it showing me ship console on this end? Yeah, I don't think we're going to see anything happen here with the CME. Kind of trying to get an idea of the game. I know it's roughly based on engineering of some sort, but the general idea of the game really. As much as, if not more than engineering, I would say it's logistics. How much is this consuming? 16 mega. Oh god, it's on the scale of megawatts. That is. That is like tiny flea bite. 6 gigawatt peak power. We have. Uh, We have a lot to spare. Thought I'd come check out some Factorio streams? Indeed. Welcome in. Captain True, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Scroll back up. Uh, did you fix the ship problem yesterday? 
had to go miss the stream end. Um, I'm, I think so, but at the moment, we have so many ships waiting to drop off barrel because of a little mistake, let's say, that it's hard to tell. Hold on, let's see. This one's dropping off. This one's dropping off. So far, so good. That's erudite. That's erudite. That's beryl. Uh, that's holmanite. Holmanite again. Hemocyte cave. Holmanite. You know, judging by the different types of core fragments where we've got ships waiting in orbit to drop them off because the drop-off is full, I think it is working. Let's see if everything's, like, kind of saturated here. We have hardly any vitamelange. Uh, that could be an issue. Maybe I could think of a way to prioritize different types of core fragments now that I changed the system a bit. But yeah, we seem to be doing very well right now. We haven't had a ship bug ever since, and I'm not saying this is causal, but ever since I set it up so that a ship isn't allowed to, allowed to land unless this is empty, so that when the ship lands, the bot's empty it all in one go. Um, since we discovered that Red Signal does indeed block Spaceship Clamp from working, or at least it blocks a ship from anchoring next to it automatically. It doesn't actually stop, like, wire pass through or anything. But yeah, the moment this runs out, it's going to be another train load or two. The moment... Uh, the blue chests here run out of Immersite Cave Core Fragments. Another ship is going to land here. It was a free demo Steam offered. I wanted to try it out before I bought the game. Yeah, it's a good demo. Not too bothered for sales. Just as well with Factorio. Um, but yeah, at least it does... I wouldn't say at least. Well, no, I would say at least because... It should be the bare minimum that a game offers a demo, I think, most games. But yeah, you will you will get more than enough time with the demo, I would say, to figure out if this is something you like. And if it is, you're probably going to really like it. Um, there's no... There's no in-betweens, really, with Factorio. Or at least not much. Did I make a blueprint for this? I don't think I did, but it is finished. Alright. Advanced. Beryllium hydroxide. What am I typing? Snap to grid. Get rid of the cheat items. 86251. Check that it snaps and rotates. And we'll put that here. And we'll get it built before any more time passes. Um, obviously, it would be good to put it close to this build. I could put it up here. That iron mine isn't going away anytime soon. Holy crap, it doesn't even have prod modules. And it's still here. Damn. It is... I don't, e I don't think we even have an iron core fragment build, uh, like, outpost. So is all of this iron coming from, like... I know we've got some strong iron patches on this planet. Um, but I'm really kind of shocked. Like, how long ago did we make this, this, uh, this iron mine? 
And it's still here. Alright. I can always move it, but for now at least, let's put our new build right about here, perhaps? Or maybe... No, that should be fine. I could put it here. Rotate it around and just... Just grab this directly. Is there any other use for sulfate? Nope. Alright, it's not going to be a perfect ratio. But I think for now... Why not? Why not? And we'll disable this station and just belt this stuff directly over here. Let's grab our construction train. And wait for inactivity. Don't you get iron from the core fragments? Yeah, but not that much. Like, we get regular core fragments from other core fragments. And we get all the basic stuff from regular core fragments. Even a bit of pyroflux, actually. Oh my goodness. Uh, do we actually need more regular core fragment processing? It's possible. It is possible. Alright. Um, wait here, please. Wait here, please. Let's add some purple belt. Like... I think I'll just do it this way. Here, actually. That's not what I want. There we go. So we're going to be able to... At least for now, we can skip picking up from here and putting into here. I'm pretty sure this consumes faster. 106 versus 42. So yeah, if anything, we would never activate this one. And have more, more of these elsewhere and have the trains deliver them. Being able to rotate this is really nice. There's our first 3,000 or so beryllium hydroxide. Why are we bonking? Limit the input or it will overflow. Which one? Oh, true. No, you're right. You are correct. The best kind of correct. I kind of still want the trains to bring... Beryllium Sulfate from elsewhere. I could just limit it to a hundred. Why isn't it going in? Oh, right. Am I missing something? I think I'm missing something. What is... Why is this... There's like... Oh. What? What, what, what? I know it looks like these are going backwards. They're actually not. What? It's the same logic. Why is... 
Oh. That's probably why. That's probably why. Alright, so we're going to leave this basically empty of beryllium sulfate so that trains can still drop it off from elsewhere. Fantastic. Look at it go. Brr. We're going to need some signals here if we want trains to be able to interact with these stations simultaneously. Actually, if we're not even activating that one, then this is unnecessary. Oh, so one more step, right? One more step, and we'll be able to just chuck beryllium into the rail network with higher throughput and fewer machines. Alright, first of all, empty all of this. That's already done. No, it's not. Copy that recipe. We're looking for beryllium powder. And what sort of rate do we get from this? 256 beryllium hydroxide per second. Sounds pretty familiar, actually. This is 281. That's perfect. That's beautiful. Except we'd need, like, two or three more of these to support this, and we'd need a lot more of these to support that. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. It's eight machines. It's fine. Um, so one fluid in, one solid, and some water out. Be gone. Input belts. And this is going to be... Beryllium hydroxide. Fantastic. Easy as that. Um, and we don't ever need to take barrel powder upstairs, right? Like ninety sure. Ninety sure. 97% sure of that. Yeah, it only goes into ingots. Or into molten first. So we can just do a combined output down here. Let's do the usual. So how fast is the powder? 337 per second, you say. Uh, that's like four purple belts. Okay, then. All right. What about the water? It's only 64 per second. But I think I want the water pickup to be fast. If we're going to have such a high throughput for the solids. We can at least do... You know what? I could just do a separate pickup for the water. Why not? Why... Not. Ser Serifitan, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright. Can actually just put this here. How about put this here as well? That's convenient.
That's neat enough. Oh. Yeah, no, this is fine. I think that's... That looks a little bit better. Okay. Oh, this isn't going to reach, is it? I'm definitely going to put this here as an excuse. To connect that wire. And it's going to be an obscenely fast load. No, we're not going to worry about that. Okay, how about we put this here again? That looks a bit tidier. And... I almost forgot we need four output belts of... We need four purple output belts. Something like this. Imagine how fast it's going to be with higher tier modules. Well, I'm not going to build a block to go faster than four purple output belts. We can just... We can just calm down a bit on that one. Except I think... I think we're going to need a proper balancer for this, right? Hmm. I could squeeze this in here. What if... I kind of want it to be down the middle. Hmm. We only need the one belt between these two. And then something similar up here, if we can fit it. How do I fit it? How do I fit it? Could put this up here, maybe. doesn't really work. Uh, unless? No, I don't... I don't think it can work. I could always just not put all this so close together since, uh, eight of these is super overkill. We've got plenty of space left, but I kind of wanted to solve the puzzle, you know? Oh. Is it that simple? Is this all I have to do? No, it's not. Unless... Nope. What if... How, how fast is it? 84 per second. We definitely want one on each side of the belt. Individually, they are 42 per second. We really don't want to use inserters for this. Um, I could always merge them here. It feels like admitting defeat. Can we make it happen in this kind of space? I think so. 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can do this. Easy. Look at that. That, that looks kind of cool. You can merge them in the middle. There is a solution. Indeed. Indeed there is. Uh, maybe... We could probably... What's this usually look like? One, two, three... Skip three, one in the middle, and two at the end. I feel like there's a way to make that happen kind of organically here. They should be pretty even to begin with, but... No, that's... That's not right at all. No, I was, I was right the first time. We need to get it like this before we do the balancer. And then... It's going to fill up so fast. I'm not going to limit these. And I think we'll only ever have long trains pick these up. Oh, I should make sure the belts are the exact same length on either side. That way, even if it fills up and then the belts flow, it'll still actually be even. Look at how it looks like it's going backwards. It's kind of spooky. Okay, that actually looks really cool. like the second or third balancer like this that I've used this playthrough. And we're just looking for provide stack threshold 100, powder, and simple as that. I'm not going to build a half block of something here like we did before. Because we're taking it to a whole block. Oh, and this doesn't need to be high priority. Although, maybe it should be... No, no, no. It's fine. I was thinking of prioritizing it just because of how fast this is. But no, it's probably fine. Uh, this needs to be high priority pickup just because if the water ever actually filled... This would have to stop. But that said, it's going to be really slow. In fact, I think I won't even put extra signals here because it'll take, uh, let's see. Uh, not as long as I thought. 15.63 minutes. To get a trainload of water. Compared to, uh, let's see, stack size of beryllium powder is 100. Just under 30 seconds per train for beryllium powder. That's kind of crazy. So maybe I do want to... I'll put signals here, but not here, so basically this train will have a higher priority. Wait, but we do need them down here regardless, otherwise we're blocking the roundabout. 
cool, cool, cool. Cool, and furthermore, cool. Alright, so we're making powder. This is so much cleaner than the build before. And in goes... Trillium Hydroxide. And that's all there is to it. And it's already saturated. So we're only requesting... Trillium Hydroxide. Cool, cool, cool. And the fluid itself isn't that fast. 256 per second, so I don't think we have to worry about a super fast drop-off or anything. But we may as well. For the usual reasons. Nah, two, two pumps is more than enough, I think. When we're dropping off, when it's consuming 256 per second. Then again, I don't know, what, what's better? Having more fluid wagons? And or having fluid wagons get filled and emptied faster so we don't need as many of them. With how fast the trains go, how fast they actually move, this probably makes more of a dis uh, difference than it normally would. Hmm. Anyway. Let's blueprint. Powder. Advanced. Beryllium powder. I think I already got rid of the cheat items. Snap to... And double check it. Seems good. Alright. Fantastic. My solution was to merge left and right together. Not the one... Not the up one and the down one. Right. Was that for the belts? Either way, this is fine. Alright, so where are we building it? Probably... Probably right next to the fluid. Don't see why not. And that should get built in one go quite easily. We actually need far fewer prod modules with these as well. Double bonus. Saying there's an intense amount of work you put into this. Yep, a uh, space exploration playthrough is a commitment. Let's put it that way. It's a fun commitment, but yeah, it's a long one. Oh, 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 let's update this, uh, I wanted to try white reinforced plate. See how that looks against the, to contrast the dark industrial furnaces. Wait for 30 seconds and 5 seconds of inactivity. That should do it. And then, Nemzi, thank you for the follow. Okay, look at it go already. Uh, we need to hurry up and build the furnaces to consume that stuff. Should we just put them up here? I don't see why not. Yeah, there's no particular area I want them to be, so they might as well be close. Especially because it, it makes it easier to keep track of all our barrel stuff. 
with these builds, we're also mass, uh, we're also adding a massive capacity to store, like, barrel stuff, since we accidentally triggered so many ships to go get the barrel. Is that it? That's kind of... Hmm. Why didn't you build this? I don't know. I don't think I like that. Maybe we should try stone brick or regular concrete. It looks better zoomed in than it does out from here. The variance on the shading is much worse on the light reinforced plate. Alright, um, so we haven't tried regular concrete, and we haven't tried stone brick. Let's try regular concrete next. I really want to continue watching and learning you know your stuff, thank you. By all means. Sorry, broken English for the belt, but your solution is also neat, don't worry. Okie dokie. Also, we go, if I didn't say so. Welcome in. Good to see you again. Alright, hurry up. We need to place the blueprint that we've already got. Or... Uh, advanced Molten Beryllium. And I think right about here makes a lot of sense. That should all work just fine. And we might need two trips, just because of how many furnaces this is. Is there not a signal there? There is. I think there's an extra signal here. That looks slightly off. Yeah, that is an extra signal. Well spotted, even if I say so. Because I'm normally, the thing is, I'm normally looking for those little blue spots. So that I can park the train in just the right spot. So it's not in the way of anything. And then, come back here again. After you resupply. How are our spaceships looking? Ooh, there's fewer of them waiting, which means there's more of them moving. Very, very cool. I think we've got it working properly now. Let's see. The vid core fragments are still looking a little slow, but... Um, well, no, they are looking a little slow. Why vid... Or fragments in particular. Have we actually... Probably because we've got enough stuff to consume them all very easily now. That can consume 96 core fragments per second, and we can do like 50 from the outpost for now. So that's, that's probably why. Let's look at how many core fragments for Vitamelange we've been producing slash consuming. If production actually dropped in the last hour, that doesn't sound right. As in, I think that sounds like this is full and we're not picking it up. Hmm. Where are you going? Exorion Orbit? Verb T? Wait, what? Oh, closest is Verb T. I don't know why they don't like to get Vitamelange Core Fragments. 
Although I may have an idea. So it occurred to me while I was rethinking this system that if all of the outposts were requesting a ship at the same time, then the one that reports first in the loop is going to get a ship first. More often than not. Especially if the timer goes way beyond uh, like our latest outpost is set to report on tick number 30. So if we're going to tick number 60 you would think the one with the highest one would probably get ships sent to at least often. But I'm pretty sure I've seen ships go to that one very often. Oh, this is Vitamelange Core Fragments. I think it's happening now. But yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to have to come up with some kind of... Prioritization based on what we've got the most of at home, perhaps? The tricky thing is... Well, I could actually measure throughput. It's hard to measure the number of spaceships that are coming back home with Vitamelange core fragments, because we need a counting system for that. And that's the kind of thing that can break and you completely lose track of how much you've actually got. Um, but if I were to use combinators and math to actually measure how many core fragments move through here, like, I could make sure we've got a bit of belt here and here. We could actually measure the belt throughput by read contents pulse and a counting machine and reset it, read and reset it every minute. Or... Not every minute, that's for sure. Maybe read and reset it every, like, 10 minutes? 20 minutes? I don't know. Then again... I think the amount of core fragments we've got in these containers is a pretty good indicator. Could you explain the lab for me and how the cost of items works, please? The lab and how the cost of items works? Uh, well, there's no currency or anything. We're paying materials and energy. There's no, there's no fiction. Um... The lab? Which lab? I see a red and green potion times 200. Red and green potion times... Two... Oh, this? Or... Oh, you mean in vanilla? Red and green potion, as in the first two science packs. Yeah, it's basically... Uh... It's basically something to make you produce stuff arbitrarily at scale. So, let, where's a good example? Well, here's, here's our old... Uh, Crestorio 2 is going to be different. But here's our old, like, automation tech card build. Holy crap, that needs updating. Um, so basically, automation tech card wants... Automation core and blank tech card. Automation core wants iron stick, iron gear wheel, copper plate. Uh, blank tech card wants uh, copper cable, iron plate. And the so called science in this game is basically just forcing you to shovel a reasonable throughput of something into something else that gets consumed. Uh, so you need to be able to manage both the volume and, you know, the complexity of actually building the thing. 
You need to complete the recipe 200 times. If you have two labs, it's 100 each. Yes. Or if you put productivity modules in there, you'll get... Uh, it'll cost more energy, but you'll get more stuff out of them. So it won't take as many science packs. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at all that. That's already a lot of molten beryllium, and I haven't built the busters for it yet. Alright, let's hurry up with that. Um, I didn't yet copy and edit this build. Alright, back to the drawing board. I was unsure if it was in regards to the amount of potions I was needing. Uh, if you look at the research, uh, it'll say, like, for example, logistic card, rocket tech cards, like, these four different things. You need four of those for one iteration of that. It takes 30 seconds at crafting speed one to consume it, and you have to do that 900 times to finish that research. Okay, cool, thanks. You're welcome. Yes, you need all the potions, yeah. I mean, you'll be able to unlock a bunch of stuff with just red, then just red and green. Uh, then it's going to get more complicated. Alright, so we're just changing this to... Beryllium Ingot. Do we have speed modules in there? Yeah, they're kind of hard to see. That works. And... Just like that. I, I feel like I'm going to mess that up. Like so. Let's do rate count to double check. Beryllium ingots only. 46.08 sand per second. That is slightly more than one blue belt. Um, and only... Holy crap! Wait, what? 5.7k molten per second. I think this is all we're going to need, like, ever. We may as well just stick with the blue bolts for this one. How fast are you individually? Very slow. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and we're going to change this to beryllium plate. And beryllium ingot stacks to double this. Name the station beryllium ingot. And then it's kind of It's fine. Whatever. Brilliant plate. That looks okay. And we need to update our requests here. Molten beryllium. 30k sand. It does use sand. And we're just going to update these. There's no advanced casters, right? It would be embarrassing if I built this and then there was, uh... Advanced casters. Ingot. We can make it in a caster or a thermodynamic facility. Oh! Well, that's something I hadn't considered. We can't put prod modules in this. 
It's kind of cheesy, but I'm tempted to put spaceship floor on the ground so that we can have far fewer machines for this. I doubt we're going to take this to space. No, that would be way less stack efficient. So we could probably cheese it a bit and put spaceship floor on the ground so that we can build these here. Because it's going to be... Let's see... You can only... F you can only go four times as fast with this with one machine. Hmm. That's still probably enough, though. Anyway. This will do for now, I guess. You can make ingots in advanced furnaces, however, it's not going to be the more efficient recipe that uses molten. One ingot for a hundred beryllium powder, a bit of coal and a bit of sand. One ingot for 250 molten beryllium. Which only takes half as much powder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's literally twice as good. Wait, can we prod module that one? No. No, we can't. Good to know. Alright, so I think... I think that's our build. And by the time I build it, the input will be totally saturated. Um, seems good to me. Let's blueprint. And... Brilliant ingot. I guess I'll just call it advanced. Because this is to support the advanced builds. And don't forget train stop names. Where are we putting this? Over here. Fantastic. Now then. Molten is here. And it's probably... There's a lot of it already. I wouldn't call it full. Oops. And I think we'll put this one here. I'm really looking forward to this one. And we'll give other builds the same, like other chains the same treatment. Another bonus is we're never going to get beryllium ingots jammed again because of sand or something. Alright, I should probably turn off the input for the old ones, because they're using fewer prod modules at every step that uses a chemical plant, so we're going to be getting a lot more beryllium for our beryllium now. Is this train okay? It is not. All right, get out of there. And that's a lot of casters. I think I only had the train carrying 50 at a time. And we're going to need basically all of them because they depend on each other for fluid. Casters, casters. Where are your casters? There it is. Only 50. How much is in the blueprint? 192. Assuming that fits in the train. Yep. 
We should be able to get it to finish the build after one more lap. Seems good. Oh, it's already full. Why are you dropping it off here? What? What? How much am I asking for here? 180,000. What? Why are you bringing 200k plus? Uh, like 30, about 235,000 actually. Why are you like this? Maybe I should just join those two. Just in case it wants to do something like that. Alright, where's our train? It got 150 casting machines. Perfect. And... go. And then we can... Bump that back down to normal. And it'll only load one stack next time. Is there a way to sync blueprint book between map and editor? Uh, yeah. So if you press B, this thing right here, uh, this thing is synchronized across all of your games. Uh, the game blueprints tab, you might want to use this to share with people that are in the same game. Uh, that's going to be specific to the game. We're looking for a lot of modules here too. That might take another trip or two. Because we normally only carry like one stack of speed modules. Um, I might just go there myself. Where's our train? Destination, full, return to mall. What? This has no train limit. And there's only one train that ever comes here. I don't understand. Oh, wait, was it... No, this is return... Oh, I got it backward. Mall returns is when we come back home. So what do you mean destination full return to mall? That was kind of weird. Alright, give me a lift, please. I'm going to go down the elevator real quick. And after that, we're going to go back up the elevator, but not before. What? What? Maybe rename to Mole Drop-Off for future hacks, indeed. What's wrong with VIT processing? No research? Yeah, I don't know why, but um, with everything being like pseudo-random with which outposts we go to, assuming they all have enough to give us something, um, for some reason we're just not sending as many ships to get Vitamelange right now. Ooh, what is happening with UPS? We're hitting some critical mass. 
All right. I can re I can remove a bunch of stuff that's running endlessly in the editor. All right, back up the elevator you go. And go drop up drop off some speeds. Did you fix the problem with the spaceships? I believe so. It's going to take some time to to increase our confidence that that's the case. Because it's a very, very intermittent problem. And we've never seen it happen. Real Kudshi? Uh, Kushti? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I really not bring enough speed modules just now? Uh, okay. One more trip for the construction train, perhaps. If we need another 50, I'd be a little bit shocked. 52. Fine. Be that way. Have a hundred. See how, see if I can. All right. Now he's shocked. Indeed. We already have uh, 538 ingots, not counting the ones we've been consuming. Half a trainload of beryllium plate. Cool. Wait, what's missing here? Long arm inserters? Oh no. How many more? It's got to be less than a stack, surely. 42. Okay. But not that much, indeed. Mildly shocked. Does LTN choose the nearest train when dispatching? I believe so, yes. Does LTN choose the nearest available depot upon completion? Uh, upon completion, it would just be vanilla train logic going for the nearest station that has that name and a train limit that can accommodate them. Okay, there we go. Also, we've got random rocks here. Whatever, it's fine. Let's look at beryllium ingots for a sec. Holy crap. Oh my god. <laughs> that is... That is certainly a spike. Um... I think we've got enough, uh, I think we've got more than enough capacity right now to consume all of the beryllium, or, uh, well, I'm sure there's enough stuff somewhere to consume it, but, like, the, the production chain, uh, to convert all of the beryllium that is brought to us by core fragments into ingots, I think we have enough now. Ingot... Right about there. But it sets temp stops? Yes, but not for the return to depot. It only uses temp stops when there would be ambiguity about which station with the same name that the train is trying to go to. If you never have duplicate station names, um you'll never see temp stops generated by by LTN. The slowest snake in this playthrough. 
It's the only train I've got left that's uh, running on regular fuel. Cargo rocket, gonna cargo rocket. Where did it hit? Well, that's rude. It looks like our crushers are having no trouble keeping up with... Oh my goodness. Cargo rockets. Oh, I think I'm going to like that best. I think that is going to be the best look. With the big, dark, advanced furnaces. Yeah, I definitely like that better. Can we go do it up here as well? I, I know for a fact we need to go back if we're going to get enough for the for the block. So regular concrete. That was regular concrete, right? Yeah, I don't think that's stone brick. No, it's not. Cool, cool, cool. Now then, how do we get Vitamelange? Instead of having all these ships waiting to drop off core fragments that we've got too many of. Pseudo-random plus the outpost only reporting that a ship should come and collect from it when it's got X amount of core fragments. Plus not scheduling a ship to pick up a type of core fragment unless that core fragment back at base is empty uh, is apparently not cutting it. I need to come up with something else. But other than that, I'm quite happy with the way this is working. Well, okay, so here's what's... Iron Hall of 15. Let's do that with Barrel. At least one of them is coming back with Vitamelange. Maybe it would have been easier to do a, like, sort of a separate dispatch for each resource type. But that would be admitting defeat. 11k. So the idea here is... When Central Dispatch has our address on its memory cell and is about to send a ship here, we kill this timer, and then uh, once it's not doing that, the timer starts running. And it has to get to five minutes before we can request a ship again. And you'd think that would be enough. But that's not really the problem. It's not that we're sending a bunch of ships to one outpost all at once, which we did before, but we fixed it. Um, the problem is we're going to go get... Uh, Immersite Cave Core Fragments when... When there's already a ship or two waiting to drop off Immersite Cave Core Fragments. I do have it set up so that if we detect any Immersite Cave Core Fragments here, then we don't send a ship to go get them. But I don't think that's behaving, uh, that's playing nicely with setting it up so that this has to be empty before we drop off Core Fragments. Um, the capacity of our ships is about 18,520 core fragments. And the capacity of these uh, strong boxes, 23 times 96 times 20. Minus 
that number. I could allow the ship to land when we're at like 20k. I'm going to have to think of something else before we get our bigger ships. But... Maybe this will be an improvement, at least for now. But yeah, I want to try and figure out a dispatch system that will actually look at what we've got, or rather what we don't have, and prioritize whatever core fragments we're getting the lowest throughput of. Actually, I th the more I think about it, uh, the more I think measuring the throughput over the last, like, 15 minutes or something... Hmm. If we if our demand for core fragments of a type isn't as high. Well, when we're saturated, we're not gonna send a ship for that type of core fragment anyway. Could you map each spaceship to a specific train ID and each clamp to a specific LTN train stop? That way you can use the LTN scheduler as your spaceship dispatcher. Wait, what? That sounds like evil genius. Map each spaceship to a specific train ID. Each clamp to a specific... L How are you supposed to read what LTN is doing with all that? Is it one of those mods that goes with LTN? Because I'm not using one of those. One of the problems here is trying to read, trying to get an idea of like how much of each type of core fragment we've got uh, is a bit tricky because because the capacity of the spaceships is so big by comparison to our storage here. Especially when we get the bigger ships later on. We've still got ships waiting to drop off, but not as many. Let's see how much of an improvement that is. I don't think it'll... Well, it, it won't make a difference to how quickly the ships move through here, except that... If we're keeping up with Holmanite core fragments, this will never be empty, and we'll never request a ship to pick up Holmanite core fragments. Uh, until Holmanite core fragments in these blue chests drops below... what was it? Drops below 26,000. Didn't I set the combinator here to like 20,000 or 25,000? 20, 20,000. Hmm. I think I should set it down to like 10k. That's still... What, 10... Uh... 5 train loads? I'd need to go to each of our outposts for that. Alright, there's only like six or seven of them. Let's do them in order, actually. So, request a ship only when core fragments in the blue chests below 10k. along with the other conditions. What's the shortcut for this? Shift N. I think I just did that one. That's much faster. And go. Okay. Hmm. 
Okay. So the threshold at home in the blue chests to request a ship here is less than 10k. That doesn't count what may be in uh, these big containers. And the threshold to let a ship land here is 20k. So if we have like a million ships queuing up to drop off whichever type of resource, um, it should never schedule a ship to go and get Immersite Cave Core Fragments, for example. Not until this here drops below 10k. And that's still leaving plenty of room for the ships to empty themselves all at once. No extra mod, just check the train ID that is at the LTN stop. And don't insert the item until the spaceship reaches the clan. Hmm. Map each spaceship to a specific train ID. So what? You trick LTN into thinking there are core fragments of a certain type at a certain place and then when LTN schedules a train to go get it then you send a ship? Is this ship okay? Uh, apparently not. What? 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 Oh. Oh, it got busted. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Which ship is this? Iron Hauler 13. Let's go rescue it. And let's do some laser energy weapon damage. We need advanced tech card. And how do we do that? I think it involves bioscience. Bioscrubbers. We could do those now. Alright, let's rescue our ship first. And then we'll work on... Advanced tech cards. What? What do you mean what? No extra mod, just... Oh, yes, yes. It was number 13, right? Let's make sure... Doubly sure we've got some spaceship wall in here. I don't think we do. We do not. Right. Spaceship wall. Should I take anything else? Engines. Anything that might break somehow. And I guess a console? I don't foresee iron booster tank getting wrecked. Alright, let's double check. Number 13, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go rescue number 13. Just wanted to join in the general confusion. Only the second time a ship has been clonked? Yeah, two or three. It's very rare. 
And I think if we upgrade the lasers one more time, it'll never happen again. Alright. I don't suppose you're bringing back Vit Core Fragments? Fantastic. Lost Garden is still super saturated. It's not that we simply need more ships, is it? No. We have multiple ships per resource. Probably waiting to drop off. Yeah, I think that's two Holmium Core Fragment ships. No? Hold on, hold on. Okay. Core Fragment Holmanite, and this one was Core Fragment Holmanite. Yeah, I think if we've got at least... That's three. Okay. And two of these. I think we need to do better than... The pseudo-random... I don't know, this system would still work if we gave it enough ships. Um, it'd just have more ships sitting idle and waiting to drop off than I'm entirely comfortable with. But I'm not, a, I'm not entirely sure where to start to have a really deliberate prioritization system for various types of core fragments. Let's see. We certainly have a few ways we can detect and decide that X, Y, or Z core fragment should be a higher priority. Um, like, I could transmit how many core fragments of each type we've got in the bulk rail loaders. So, let's, let's take it as a given, as We've got this piece of information here. We can figure out which one's highest priority. Um, we're going to need to have a condition. Instead of just taking the information straight here on the green wire. I think what we'll have to do is... It's actually... It actually might be much easier than I thought. Okay. So we have some black box here that says... This is our highest priority core fragment. Or maybe, like, these are our highest, two or three highest priority core fragments, right? Um, and we need to say, decide a combinator if that type of core fragment is detected. Hmm. How do we compare it that way with combinators? It, it might just take more combinators than I'm happy with, but it shouldn't be too hard. We'd have an arbitrary signal type for each type of combinator. We could have, like, if iridite equals... Wait, no. Hmm. Oh. You could have, like, negative a million for whichever type of core fragments are, that you want to deprioritize. That might actually be easier. Look at whatever we're saturated on here. Isn't that what we were already trying to do, though? By not allowing an outpost to report if... if we've still got X amount of a certain type of core fragment. I think we have to, like, look at it from the other way around and try and specifically prioritize whichever we've got the least of. Except, if we're actually demanding more Vitamelange core fragments than our outposts can supply, we'd need to have a system where... We're not saying bit of melange core fragments or bust. Oh, that's actually really tricky with combinators. Uh, 
That's actually really, really tricky with combinators. I don't want to go back to the system where we count which ships are going to which outposts. I really prefer what we've got here. In that way, at least. Two minutes until we've reached our destination. Read content on pickup orbit when 70% full send ship. Pick up orbit. Oh, we're already doing something like that. We only send a ship if there's already like 9,000 core fragments. But many of them are completely saturated. I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wouldn't it be better to have a dispatch per type of material? It would be easier. Although it would be a lot of work at this point. But... Um, it would be admitting defeat. I want to make a generic dispatch system that works. It's a challenge, to be sure. There's our Ion Hauler 13. So how are we doing on... bit of a large core fragments lately? Big dip on consumption. Production... is not the worst. Bear in mind, production only slows down if we're getting saturated. At the pickup, that is, not at our base. I really want to do not just a pick the highest priority and go for that system, but something that can rank the core fragments in order of our priority based on uh, like empty drop-off stations and then step through them and say is there an outpost offering Vitam Lunch core fragments? No. Go to priority two. I forgot to bring the... Oh, never mind. Nope, I lied. Uh, we need to send this to Stromhurst orbit once we're done. But I need to set it to construction ship so that I can board. Zero seconds at max speed. What do you mean? Construction ship already has its target set to Iron Hauler 13. Iron Hauler 13 construction ship. Oh, I think we have to tell both of them to stop. This one's already stopped. Oh no, what is this? Um... How do I... I have an idea. That's not going to work, is it? What about this? Is this valid? I think... I think that was it. We had to move, like, one tile or something. Now I can board the construction ship. Turns out there's, like, one or two pieces of wall that are not strictly necessary. On that build. Didn't I just... Alright, we're back to normal now. Board construction ship. And... 
Number 13. Go to Strum First Orbit. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Read content on pickup orbit. When? Oh, yes, yes. Alright, back to Hagen orbit, I think. Unless there's another ship that got busted. Let's make sure. Uh oh. Iron Hauler 2. Is it foe and Estra with no power? Oh no. Um, I guess we better try and try and board it. I hope we can even do that. I think we must be able to. How did that happen? How the bloody, bloody hell did that happen? Seriously. Iron Hauler 2. It's got a uranium fuel cell in here. No, the wall's not broken. Integrity check. It's valid. Box is full? No, I... Oh. I stand corrected. I think it had a bunch of cables in it that never got picked up at the drop-off. This was from when we had a bunch of ships running around with space elevator cables they weren't supposed to have. So, barrel core fragments, foe and estra. It must have been. Spiriso? Which still has quite a lot of core fragments, much more than we ever request. So, this must have been full. And then the set request on the big chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's the solution. So, it shouldn't happen again. In theory. How long till we get there? Four minutes, 40 seconds. Okay. Um, should we do a little design work or something? I'd love to know why bioscience still hasn't caught up, even if VIT has been a bit slow. Oh, we do have bioscrubbers here. That's not nothing. We're literally just waiting for insight. Which is looking for broad catalog, which is still looking for biochemical resistance data, which is still looking for experimental biomass, which is still looking for this, no doubt, which is still looking for spice. It's always spice now. Okay. Am I prioritizing extract too hard over spice since I made that change? I don't think that's it. I think it's the throughput of Vitamelange itself. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, as soon as we fix this ship, we're going back to Hegan Orbit to try and figure out prioritization. So we get a signal that says... There must already be a ship on the way to get Vitamelange. 
I could increase the priority of Vitamelange by allowing ships to come here much sooner. Like... Yeah, this is negative 12k. Our cooldown is telling us we can't send a ship for Vitamelange right now. Considering it's so close to Hagen Orbit, this should probably be a smaller number, especially since it's our only... Uh, Vitamelange. I'm going to allow it to send one ship every minute, maximum, to this outpost. It's still, for the moment, going to be, like, pseudo-random... Which, uh... No, oh, this one's already going to Moss Garden. Fantastic. But yeah, it's still going to be, like, sort of pseudo-random-ish. But at the very least, we can reduce the cooldown for how often we can send ships to this location. In fact, I could set it to basically nothing. We'll probably end up with, like, seven ships trying to drop off Vitamelange. Which probably wouldn't be a very bad thing at this moment in the game. I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm going to set... Uh... Can I say negative zero? No. I want it to be clear this is supposed to be a negative. Oh, we're currently trying to send a ship here, again. Perfect. Maybe this is enough of a prioritization system. No, I really want it to be, like, generic and universal. And not, le not need endless tweaks for, like, each outpost or something. 34 minutes? Thirty-seven minutes? Wait, what? Iron Hauler 2. It fell an Estra. Uh, doesn't it usually just take a, like, a minute? Like, five minutes to get to Foe and Estra? I think it's worth a try. Set destination to Foe and Estra. Spatial distortion, 10k. Perfect. Was that just the fluctuation stuff? Now we set it to Iron Hauler 2. And we can board it. Okay, that's a lot better than 37 minutes. Uh, what did it need? Power. Oh, I remember. Let's board it. The problem was actually that this inserter was unable to do its thing, but now it's got no power whatsoever. So, I wish we could set filters for these. Maybe I should, like, leave one uranium fuel cell in there indefinitely. That's kind of hard to pull off, though. Uh, anyway, I need to put a single... Uranium fuel cell in here, and then it's going to start whether we like it or not. Construction ship is our destination. How does it say... Okay, we're good. I was going to say, how does it say 32 minutes? Um, but now we need to send it back to Hagen Orbit. Beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I just realized. When it gets to Hagen Orbit, it's not going to take the space elevator cables out. That's part of why we ended up with that problem. Hmm. Let me jump into the editor while we design this. 
Hurry up, auto save. Muck schnell. Alright. So, if we have... Where are my combinators? If we've received a signal that has X, Y, or Z core fragment on it, let's say we've got this black box that can tell us which core fragments we need the most of. Let's say Vitamelange core fragment is ranked 10, as in highest. Um, Beryl is like a 7. Iridium is 3. And Immersite Cave Core Fragment, we're always saturated on, so it's like negative. Whatever, it's good enough. Higher value means higher priority. Now we need to receive some signal that has some type of Core Fragment on it. And we need to say... Is that the highest priority core fragment? Well, here's the thing. With the way our system works, if we want to say no, that's not high priority enough, we'd have to just ignore it. And wait for another one. I guess we could do that. It's going to be a binary thing, though. If, uh... Hmm, we're sort of already doing that. Except that we're not comparing them. Hmm. Programming with combinators is not easy. If we get if we get the thing that's highest priority, we obviously want to schedule it. That part's easy. What do we do if it's like second highest priority? What we really start to need here is like a proper computer system that can remember multiple requests at the same time to compare them. But that with combinators is a bit over the top. Hmm. I really don't know. I really don't see how to prioritize it with what we've got outside of waiting to see what's oversaturated. Which, I mean, it works. The trouble is we would need significantly more ships, like maybe five more or something, with the number of outposts we've got at the moment. Um, just to say, well, to saturate it effectively. Moss Garden Orbit? I think our little tweak is already paying off. Let's see how four fragments look over here. Well, they're probably never going to be... Ooh, okay, that's an improvement already. That's, that's a pretty big improvement, actually. Hmm.
Is it really good enough already? Judging by the motion of the core fragment processing, it might be. We're finally going to get some spice again. At last. How has spice production been for a while? Probably about the same as Vitamelange core fragments, more or less. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd say it's trending upwards. I don't know. Maybe for now I should just make more ships. We've already got almost 20 though. We've got 18. With 6 outposts. Considering the round trip time, maybe that's not that ridiculous. We'd have effectively like 5 more ships, or maybe 3 more. If they were doing a better job of not... Randomly... Going for too much of the same type. Do I get meteorite messages from other planets while I'm not there? I don't think so. No, I don't think you do. Yeah. And now there's not enough to... It's kind of enough to pick up, but I think I set this higher to be safe. There is enough. Nice. I will never visit this one again if I can help it. Indeed. What shall we build next? More importantly, when do we get the last freaking little bit of biomechanical resistance data? We've been waiting so, so very long. So, so very long. I think we need, like, Vitamelange spice up here. Hmm. I have no idea if it's improving right now, or if it's just following the pattern that it's been following, more or less. You know what would solve this problem as well? If I just go and get another Vitamelange outpost. But here's the thing. I know we can support 50 Vitamelange core fragments per second. Um, what's 1.2k per minute? Is only 20. That is so much less than our current outpost is capable of. <sighs> Maybe if we only have this many ships idle, we actually do need more ships. Night. That one's already dropping off. That one's the same as the first one, right? I, hmm. I don't necessarily mind if we queue up two dropping off the same type of core fragment. Maybe we really do need more ships. Maybe it's not even that big of a prioritization issue. I still want to try to think up a way to make it really smart, but I think we did improve it a bit here. If we've got a smaller number of ships queued up to drop stuff off like that. So let's add like four and see what happens. This is going to be number 19. So 
Don't forget to turn the reactor on. I won't. There you go. And... I could... Hmm. Nah, it's fine. Let's just send it already. Launch. And anchor. Get any one of these vacant ones should be fine. And as soon as it has fuel and water, it'll report ready. And just make sure it, uh, that that's all it takes. What are we waiting for right now? There's a bot moving around. Okay. We're waiting for water. That's why the butter's moving around, because we're making more water. There it goes. Should be launching momentarily. And... go. Fantastic. Let's just double check. It has destination. It doesn't have a whole lot of power yet. As long as it gets up to 415 degrees before it goes through the asteroid belt. Uh... Uh-oh. Perhaps I was a little hasty. I think it'll self-correct, though. Pr probably. Don't worry about it. You know, it wasn't that long ago that I couldn't take for granted that we could just spam out four ships like this. Relative deprivation, Cobra. How's 19 doing? 350 degrees. Creeping along with those ion engines at uh, 3.14 speed. Doesn't run into... It looks like it doesn't spawn asteroids at this speed. All right. In goes the fuel. And... I'll, I'll wait a little bit longer this time. Let's make sure this guy's okay. 4.30. There we go. Easy peasy. So where's it going? Uh, 8.16... Via Foenestra? Yes. Cool, cool, cool. And... Integrity check. Launch. Anchor. It's probably going to have the same problem. What's the worst that could happen? Two more. Assuming we have the scaffolding, the floor. Well, we've got 600 bajillion barrel now, so... Barrel was the problem when spaceship floor was precious. So I don't think we have to worry too much about that. Oh, I didn't name the ship. Uh, Where is it? Monstrosity? Okay, then. Yeah, that's our ship, all right. 
Ion Hauler 20. This will be number 22. We're going to be able to have much fewer ships when we have the faster, bigger ones. But that's all the more reason that I need to refine the dispatch system. Because if we end up with like eight of them queuing up to drop stuff off forever, um, that's going to be a much bigger chunk of our spaceship fleet. Unless we want to have way more ship than we should need. 21, no? Uh, I don't think so. Let's sort by name. Which is... Oh. Did I mean to type 21? I thought I did. I knew this wasn't the last one that I was making. Alright, launch to Hagen orbit. And I could just leave it there until it warms up a bit. I can't believe Vitalik Reagents still hasn't moved. Alright, so this one's going to be 22. 22. Where's the console? There we go. Terror Blade. Um, and go. Oh, it doesn't have any fuel yet. Here it comes. Alright, so number 21 is up to 200 degrees already. That should be fine. Drop in on any of these. Um, 20 is already moving, 21 is here, 22 is here, please launch. Did he mean to type 21, or did he meme to type 21? Yes. What's this one up to? Only 112. I don't want to forget that it's there. I'm sure I probably won't, actually. Which one did I start with just now? 19. 19 is going strong. Fantastic. 8, uh, 20 is also doing fine. 21 is almost heated up. Oh, it's already moving. It's probably going to be f Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, it can shoot. I think it'll be okay. And... 22... Is at 200 degrees. We can probably park it here and forget about it now. All right, well, now the experiment begins. Uh, we find out whether or not a few more ships is really all it takes to keep up with our VIT core fragments. Judging by the fact that we've got two headed for Moscarden right now, uh, I think the answer might be yes. Oh, make that three, because that one just left with core fragments. Okay then. You know what? Until I think, until I can come up with something more clever, Tehran, we're just gonna spam degree. a bit more. D Hose, thank you very much for the five months with Prime. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Wait, why did I see a pre-roll? Don't look at me. I minimize ads wherever I can. By the way, you know those. What's this? Oh, you know those awful ads that come up at the bottom 
of a Twitch screen, uh, a tri Twitch stream, and like shrink the video, and are really, really distracting. Those were put on by default. Uh, if, if when you see some streamer that has that enabled, uh, don't assume that they just thought, yeah, this seems like a good idea, because. You have to go digging to find that and disable it. Do you use cargo rockets for anything? Uh, I do still, but it's only because I've procrastinated um, getting rid of them. We've got Granis running on cargo rockets still because it still has crude oil. Or it might still have crude oil. It's got a little bit here, 37k. This one's still got 4.1 mil. Um, what do we have over here? 837k. I pressed the wrong button. And 1.7 million. And we're, we really haven't had any trouble keeping up with the VIT. Uh, VIT? With Vulcanite core fragments. For a really, really long time. So I'm just not as motivated as I could be. Uh, holy crap, old trains are slow. The trains and the belts. I know we're down to like 50 UPS sometimes, but I'm so not used to how slow that is. That's another advantage of the type of outposting that I've got now. Like, look at all this. This is more or less the bare minimum to get the core fragments off of... Uh, off of our Vulcanite planet. Because we need a lot of infrastructure for liquid rocket fuel. Uh, and to receive the supplies that we need sent here to keep things running and to send rockets back. I mean, you could make it a bit more minimal, but that's sort of beside the point. It's a lot. If you compare it to, say, one of our core fragment, our, our new planets, this is it. This is everything that we've got on Moss Garden right now. It's just a bunch of rails. It's basically just a bunch of rails and coal mining drills and a space elevator. And then, of course, we have the pickup over here. Greatly simplified. It's going to work out a lot better for UPS. To process that centrally, I think. Three shots fired. Shot down three meteors over here. And we wouldn't have heard about it if we weren't looking here. Cargo rocket gonna cargo rocket. Where are the crashed parts? Oh. There they are. Yuck. I don't like Twitch, but the Prime sub is nice. Indeed, thank you. Um, Foenestra, Foenestra. We've only got one outpost that goes via Foenestra right now. Which makes me sad, because... Look at this, these two are like 30 seconds apart, if that. And I definitely set up the outpost at Foenestra, or via Foenestra, to say, do not ask for another ship to come here five minutes after a ship gets launched in your direction. I don't know why it would do that. It's, it's doing it right now. Okay, so... Outpost, uh, Central wants to send a ship here, therefore timer starts ticking. Um, it has to count up to 18,000, because we've got this constant of negative 18,000 here. That's five minutes. This has to be greater than zero to output time. Time has to equal something that happens to be greater than zero. Do you send a request to send a ship here? We just saw 
that two ships, one after the other, were sent to that outpost? And yet we just saw yet another ship launched in that direction. I don't understand. Elevator seems way easy to maintain. Yeah. I mean, you'll need resources from multiple planets uh, to get it started. Where's, where's my spell elevator cables? We need holmium, we need iridium, we need beryllium, and we need some coal. So basically everything, except for vitamelange. And vulcanite. Well, I'm sure you need vulcanite somewhere to get this stuff. Sheep say mare, thank you very much for the nine months with Prime. Wow. Much appreciated, thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, how's... Now that we've got more ships, um, how's Vitamelange doing? Oh my goodness. Okay, either this is a coincidence, which I doubt because it's this full. Or we really just did need a few more ships? Wow. Hype, indeed. Uh, okay then. Do I need to... No, I definitely don't need more processing. This can consume almost double the core fragments we're able to support right now. Supply. Uh, and then this only consumes 96... Uh, bit of launch per second... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this is more than enough. Alright, it's good to see this all working consistently again, though. Maybe I really should just bite the bullet and, like, have more ships than I should theoretically need. Like, it seems to be working pretty well right now. Here's another one bringing back Vit core fragments. All I did was add four ships and reduce the cooldown on Moss Garden to, like, one minute. Except I'm skeptical that the cooldown is even working. I don't see why it shouldn't work, though. Uh, Hollow 9 is going to Foenestra, that's fine. Coming back with barrel. Coming back with barrel. Alright. How close are we to getting bioscience in that case? Same old thing. Do I need to prior this? I did prior it. When do we get our spice? Hmm. I could change back this, uh, change this back to times four so that these will be even, but which effectively slightly prioritizes spice. All right, all right, all right. Why don't we start setting up our ultimate Vitamelange outpost? Because we need to clear it of biters, that's why. What if, hypothetically, we take the time to set up energy beaming in that system just to clear the biters? Or, uh, what's that nuke thing called? can't remember. The Plague. It's Bio 4. We can ignore that. Um, nuclear?
Nuclear turret rocket is probably not what I'm looking for. Nor is it nuclear artillery shell. I was thinking of... It's going to take a lot... If I were to use atomic bombs, no, no, no. I think energy beaming is honestly the better way to go. So, should have got this started sooner. Where's our vitamelange? Here it is. Bombato. Which... We didn't scan yet. Uh, it is in the Vazanus system, which is pretty far away, so we're going to need to go via Foenestra. Let me just check, since it's actually a more than two minute journey. We've got plenty of scaffolding. Uh, we've got a bunch of solar panels. We've got energy beaming. We've got media defense installations. I kind of forgot to put media defense installations back at Calidus Orbit. Do we need them? I guess we're going to find out. I've never seen a media here. Maybe it just doesn't happen. Alright, but I think we're ready to go to Oenestra. Should have gone there earlier. When I came back from Foenestra. It even does core seams too. Uh it turns into coal if it's hit with a plague rocket. Oh. Even core seams, that's rough. Or potentially very, very useful, depending on how you look at it. Pile drivers, yeah. Pile drivers take an insane amount of resources to get the job done. Or at least they did in point 0.5. Uh, I know they... The nuke versions of pile drivers got nerfed in terms of resource cost, and the iridium pile drivers got buffed. Um, but it would still take a lot. Let's have a look at Nalvis. We've been scorching it for a while. Actually, control 2... Uh, yep, that's pretty quick. There's a... L holy crap. We've cleared almost all of the biters that were revealed to us. I was not entirely expecting that. I'm looking forward to turning Nalvis into a standard outpost. There's so much stuff to clean up, though. That's going to be like a whole stream. That can definitely help our UPS a little bit, though. I think we'll have to start scanning Nalvis so that we can keep... Uh, keep the beams going. Do we even need Nalvis core fragments, though? Like, eh, probably. It certainly can't hurt. If anything, we just have to have more crushes to get rid of the excess. And we can keep what's actually useful to us. Why is this not repaired yet? Um... I'm just going to be lazy and run the decon train past it. Alright. How much further do we need to go? We're halfway to Foenestra already. Cool, cool, cool. Where's our energy beam? There's our scanner. I 
when we have bigger and fewer ships, uh, those big dips on the UPS are probably going to be a lot less harsh. Overall, at least. I think that's what's causing some of it. Ooh, trains are moving. What do we got? Oh, that's... that's copper for... Thermo fluid. Never mind. Every time I look, there's no spice here. We didn't have trouble keeping up with it before. What the hell happened? Oh, I, I might know, actually. Uh, yeah, it might be that we're trying to do too much. At the moment. What with bio scrubbers as well. We are 2200 distance from Foenestra, and then we need to set our destination to Vazanus Orbit. Fantastic. I think I'm going to have to dedicate, like, at least half a stream to just cleaning up old crap, replacing it with newer, shinier stuff. There's a lot of old crap that needs to be updated. I mean, we did update the beryllium ingots, but I need to decon all this. And then we end up with a bunch of stuff that we have to put where it belongs. What materials do you want from Nalvis? Is it worth it? Um, it's kind of like a May as well. Vazanus Orbit. I think we had a Vazanus last playthrough as well. I mean, there's like a finite number of names and stuff, but I mean, Vazanus was somewhere relevant to our last playthrough. Alright, we will be there in about six minutes. And we'll start putting down some energy beaming just so that we can clear Bombato. How big is it? It's really, really big. Almost 9,000. Only 7% biters uh, density. But on a big planet, that adds up as you get away from the, the middle. Alright. GPS equals 0, comma, 0, comma, vos and us for a bit. Fantastic. Um... I kind of want to use this free real estate, though. How about we put... First, let me mark the middle here. I kind of want the... We can't put plating on top of this for the look of it, can we? I don't think so. I almost want this covered by solar panels, actually. I do want this covered by solar panels, actually. In which case... I'll start with this. put our energy beaming stuff down here. Four minutes till we get there. Um, Loditastic. Where's our train? It's downstairs. It's waiting till this has a full load.
We definitely need to go more faster with bio. Or it's just going to take a ludicrously long time to saturate. Which I expected from the beginning, but this is really going beyond the scale that I expected. Do we have multiple train? Yeah, we do. We've got two trains moving Vitamalange core fragments. That should be enough. I imagine. If we've got three quarters of these two blocks active, they can consume faster than the planet can provide them. So we're working through that backlog, which is actually really, really good. Yeah, we're working through the backlog of bit core fragments here. This is not saturated. That's actually what I want to see. Two of these trains are waiting. It's so beautiful. Truly. So how many ships do we have that are just like... Uh, stuck waiting at Malvis? I mean Hagen Orbit. One, two, three... Three, four, five, six. Six out of twenty-two is not a small fraction. But if we've got a representative spread of... Oh, that's a lot of Vitamalange. Oh my god. Uh, I guess we've mostly got... Vitamalange now. Yeah, I really want to come up with something a bit smarter, but this is functional as long as we have enough ships. Onward to more faster. We could of course go to Moss Garden and just add more core mining drills, but they're adding like one or two per second each because of diminishing returns at this point. And I could spend quite a while making this bigger for just a little bit more, just a little bit more. Or we could do the more time and UPS friendly thing and make another outpost that's going to have four fragments coming through more faster for the same space and the same number of drills and so on. We're almost there. How many biters have we found on this planet? Oh, we're not scanning it right now, we're scanning Nalvis. We can only scan one planet at a time. And now this is not a small one. It's 5.7k radius. Let's see. Let's let's figure out where the edge is. 5692. Zero. 5,692, was it? Alvis. GPS specifies invalid surface? Huh? N-A-U-V-I-S. Is Nalvis called something else? I've only tried it in orbit before. Wait, no I haven't. Let, let's do this on Hagen. GPS... Uh, GPS equals... 0, 1000... Hagen. That's correct, that works.
Nervous. EPS equals zero zero Nervous. That works. I must have gone over the edge or something. No? Yes. Maybe that's it. What's the radius again? Five six nine two. Five six nine zero. Oops. Actually, what happens if I only give it two quads? Oh, it just does it on the local surface, probably? Or we just don't specify a name for Nalvis. 5692. That actually does work. So I guess Nalvis is just, like, null for a name with that command. Uh, but yeah, that's the middle of Nalvis, that's the edge. It's not small. Hence, we want to leave it to the energy beams to clear. That's probably a pretty significant part of why our UPS is going down right now. Many, many biters. Bonk? Small n? Now this is in... Is the only one with a lowercase letter in the internal name. Oh, okay. But I didn't read it wrong, right? Planet Nalvis, capital N. Cool, cool, cool. Just kill it all with energy beam. That is what we'll be doing, indeed. Okay, how close are we, by the way? Very close. Uh, let me just mark the middle with this. And... How much construction range do we have here? About all of it. Alright, I'll do the scaffolding. You guys can... Place the plating. Oh, that's friendly towards the UPS. Look at that go. Um, I don't want to overdo it with the amount of scaffolding I've got for one trip. Which I'm probably already doing. I should probably just copy-paste what I've got at Calidus. Um, what do we have here? Default, default. Good talk. How about some of this? Oh, we should probably wait till the plating is in there first. But I can at least use this to compare... Whatever. Whatever, we'll just make another trip. I'm sure I'm going to run out of scaffolding way before I set out, I accomplish what I've set out to. Over here. Even if we do have a little bit of free real estate. already. Put that right about there. Grab some panels. I'm 
I'm pretty sure all the stars are almost exactly the same with solar percentage. Just under 1500%. Uh, let's see. 1521%. Can I find another one? 1495. You'd think the stars would be a bit more varied now that I think about it. Yeah, they're all like 1500. Canon ammo chaining does work. Indeed it does. It didn't when I tried. No. Oh. Wait, do you mean delivery ca uh, not canon. Do you mean the media defense installations or delivery cannons or pile drivers? Like what, uh, weapon delivery platforms? Defense installations. Yes, indeed. Let's bring this up as far as it fits. One more. Perfect. Now we have our aspiration. And go. Oh, we got that much finished. Pleasantly surprised. I don't think we're going to make a dent in the next layer. That's okay. I think I need to make a 2x2. Two Also, fast inserters, apparently. Oh, no. I brought superior filter inserters? Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I could handcraft three fast inserters. Oh, no. Do I have an upgrade filter for this? Sure. Do we even have the superior inserters here, or do we have to make them filters until I come back? Nope, we're good. Superiors all the way. And then? We have no Logibots placed. There we go. We still have more left over. Two, three, four. Uh, one off. Uh, apparently I'm not being greedy enough. There we go. Why did it skip a little bit? Oh, I think I imagine. I think I can imagine. Alright. Let's copy paste all of this. That's maybe a bit overkill, but it'll get the job done. If I can even point where I need to. There we go. There we go. Did we use up all the plating? No, 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 I think the bots can't reach. I just know I'm going to end up leaving this here. May as well make it look kind of nice. Oh. That 
needs to go here. Fantastic. Are we already out of solar panels? No, not quite. How did I get copper? That should be a straight line. Fantastic. And why don't I take these back for now? And I'm not going to go deconning those and putting them elsewhere. This is fine for the moment. We've placed all our solar panels. How much power do we have? 13 gigawatts. That's not nothing. Now then. Oops. Uh, we maybe don't need to go this far overboard, actually. Whoops. How much is that? 20, that's way over. In fact, I think we can barely support this. Yep, accumulators are just going up. All right, what's our target? Bombato. And Autoclave. We're going to have much better transmission efficiency than we had earlier. 50%, that's not the worst. Autoclave, I said. Couldn't find enemies. Oh, fair enough. Also... There's a pyramid there. I guess I could do a kind of a manual scan. That's going to be slow and uncomfortable as heck. How are we doing for scanning Nalvis? That's going to take a while. Do we have enough biters to keep the beam busy? I would say the answer is yes. Let's stop scanning Nalvis. Um... Stop all scans. Scan surface. And... Give me some of those... Platings. Give me all of those platings. No more meetings today? Fantastic. Oh, uh, whatever. Let's turn off the bots. Oh, I can just check how many kills these have. They do have kills. I completely forgot that I'd given them ammo and stuff. Oh no, it was the CME that I was thinking... I'm pretty sure that never happens at the sun. When's the next CME? It is Erioni Orbit. That's a long... That's over a day away, and I've never even looked at Erioni. So, no worries there. CMEs do happen at the sun? Really? Okay... Do we have targets now? Nope. Maybe it won't take as long as I thought to clear bomb... Bombato. I can't find any biters. It would be weird if not, since they 
start from the sun, indeed. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess so. There's our first... Oh, well, no, there's our first coal mining drill. On this planet. Oh, I could go and build... Nah, I'm not going to go build the outpost until we're almost ready. So then we just have to feed it ammo for longer and stuff. Okay. Let me just remove these ghosts while we're here because... Ghosts everywhere, slow down bots everywhere for some reason. Am I physically done here? Should I go back? Probably. Probably. Where's our umbrella? We can still support that, right? Easy enough. It's only 10 megawatt. Alright, did we find biters yet? Where to buy this? I'm... More than a little bit surprised. There's some. Hello, friends. I don't think we have enough biters to, like... To start the beam on autoglave and have it not switch off, though. We're going to have to give it some time. Let's go back. And we'll maybe come back here with more solar straight away. We need to go via Foenestra, otherwise it will take a very long time. And also... Maybe threaten our fuel reserves. Artus Lakik, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Noxyway, I think I said hello, but welcome just in case. Still no spice here. What is happening? I know we're saturated on Vitamelange, or at least we were for a while, for the core fragments. We're very saturated for the core fragments. So why... Why are we so slow? Oh my god, we're saturated on Vitamelange itself. Nuggets here are full. Wait. I need more of this? Surely not. This can consume 160 nuggets per second. Uh, this can do 126. 253 if we get 96 per second. We get a little bit more Vinamalange than we put in Core Fragments. So... At 50 core fragments per second, which is what we'll have once it actually settles down. Um, well, it hasn't settled down. We're working off that backlog. That's the thing. Maybe I should build another one of these. It's not going to be that long before we're not backed up on this stuff, right? Right? Is this switched on? It's not switched on. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to I'm going to do it myself. Where is it? We haven't been using 
please tell me that we at least didn't back up on a bit of melange core fragments. We didn't. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We, we didn't overall lose throughput because of that mistake. And now we should get spice significantly faster for a while. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, what's our rate from this? 105 per second? And this can handle 115. You know what? Screw it. We're doubling this thing. It's like 10 machines. And maybe we'll double this as well. I don't even care. Just SE, no K2? If my calculation is correct, the best way to get petroleum is the basic crude oil to petroleum recipe. Uh, I think we went over this before. It depends on the prod modules, doesn't it? Okay. Um, bulk rail unloader, like soda. And flip this around, that goes there, and put another one of these here, not like that though. And signals? This is going to look so unnecessary and over the top once we catch up with our backlog, but I want that science. Where's our construction train? Wait for... just wait in a, indefinitely for the moment, actually. Where's my ship? Still headed to Foenestra. We're only halfway there. Okay. And we need a signal down here. And we need this here. And some of this. And don't forget the green wires. And this one looks good already. And then we'll need another one of these blocks, I think. I mean, we don't need it, but maybe someday we can actually need it. I hope so. Let's build one of these to start with, and then copy-paste that in, remove the excess stuff that's not supposed to be there. Nice and modular. Please park here. Wait for inactivity. And then go refill and come back. Just in case. Because we probably need more rail or something. We already have a request being filled. Oh, look at that. <laughs> also, I still haven't figured out what to do with methane gas, or rather, I looked at it a while ago. And I haven't bothered with it yet. We could turn it into processed fuel with solid fuel. I think I'll skip that. We can make a a lot of crude oil for a little bit of bio sludge, but bio sludge is kind of precious and crude oil is absolutely not for this playthrough. We can make it into ice. Uh, there's an alternate recipe for nutrient gel, but I think it doesn't help us. Uh, because, oh. 
It actually uses half the bio sludge. Same amount of fertilizer, no coal. Bit more chemical gel, same amount of cosmic water. Okay. We could maybe make a block to convert methane gas to bio, uh, to nutrient gel, if only to save bio sludge. I'm pretty sure we're going to end up saturated on bio sludge like crazy, like last time. Eventually. We need it for lattice pressure vessel. We need it for naquium ingot. We need it for self healing gel. I'm thinking I just make a storage for it. And since we have this space here, I could always just add tons of storage here. Optimus, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, construction train should be on its way back soon. It's getting reloaded. Fantastic. Night Dancer, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We are at Foenestra. Time to go to Hagen Orbit. And... Let's look at all our core fragment drop-offs. So we've actually got tons of Vitamelange now. That's beautiful. Uh, Iridite seems okay. Pulmonite core fragments are looking very, very good. Barrel core fragments are looking very, very good. Uh, Immersite cave core fragments have been saturated since the beginning of time. So, yeah. All of our core fragments are coming in hot. Is research trolling you? <laughs> Indeed it is. Uh, so the thing with research is we need ludicrous amounts of spice. I don't know where it's all even going. I, I just tried to speed it up some more. Even though that speed up is going to be temporary until I get another outpost. But we're working off a backlog of core fragments at um, Moss Garden. So we can go quite a bit faster for a while. Oh, here it comes. Now we can start getting spice a bit faster. Yeah, I should probably check where the spice is even going, though. Because, like, I keep finding this in motion, although it's looking much better now. Totally saturated. I keep finding this in motion, but... I look in orbit, and every single time it's just this much spice. Just a little bit less than it takes to trigger a delivery. And we had tons of it before. I don't understand where it's going. Why don't we do a search here? Make sure we don't have something really weird and bad and terrible. Some request for spice that we forgot about somehow. What am I... Oh, that's space. Space must flow. There's a bit of spice in here, not much. And that's it. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh. Because I got rid of the... Limit on that chest. We've actually been making lots and lots and lots of extract. It's almost a train load that can fit in this chest. What are you laughing at? Hmm. I wish for the millionth time I could set filters so that we could let Vitamelange spice in here. I guess it doesn't matter. If there is only room for extract in here, 
The only bad outcome would be if these two slots were spice, right? And that would jam it, and we'll soon find out if that's what's going to happen. There's one piece of belt missing here. Rude. Let's get our construction train back down. It's still recharging. Hmm. Okay. Wait for inactivity. And what's this? Whoops. I think this is more nugget. And this is spice and everything nice. Fantastic. Wait, why are you stopping? No, 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 no. What is this? Oh, it's yellow belt. That's why. We don't carry no stinking yellow belt here. You know what? Um, that's just going to kind of make it super prioritized spice on this end, so I'll allow it. I'm pretty sure this is just going to jam up. I'd be very surprised if it didn't jam up with this belt missing. Didn't know you could filter with cars? With cargo wagons? Yeah, you can. Oh my god, it's so slow. Wait, there's no beacons here. What? Oh. I see what you did there. I completely forgot this had a non-standard layout for the pylons. Okay. You know what? Grab two pieces of... Do we even have it? We don't have it. Uh, we're already home. I could go do it myself. Nah. Lazy mode activate. Form of bring me two pieces of yellow belt. Uh, and I think we need to reset our train here. Oh, don't tell me. Request stack threshold is one. Okay. How about that then? Gonna bring us some yellow belt. Fantastic. Oh my god, that triggered a few deliveries. We finally got some spice up here. And it, and it's been picked up, I think there's even more. Oh my god, where is it? It's up here, isn't it? No? It's happening. You know what? Prioritize left. I don't even care. We're going to prioritize all the things that biochemical is ultimately a prerequisite for. Other than... Uh, other than catalog one. Because that's what we actually need. Wait, what? Oh, that's input side. God damn it. Boiled again. Now give me those cards. How much do we get? One spice makes one biochemical data. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Where are you going with this? To make more purple vats? We need the purple vats to make the purple biomass to make the 
biomechanical resistance data. And I prioritized this already. We need just a little bit to trigger our first Bio2 catalog in the rail network. And then we need that over here to trigger our first load of quite a decent amount of biological insights. Eight train loads. I think they all have the same stack size. Eight train loads of biological insight. And... But then we need... Um, We need some bio catalog here. I've already dropped off a little tiny bit of bio catalog too. It's not going to get us far. It's like something like twenty times four. We're not even going to get one research finished with that. But we can at least see this working potentially. Oh, that was fast. That was very fast. Here it comes. Here it comes. Finally. It's happening. Wait. Oh no, here it comes. So how long does it take to get like six, seven, eight stacks of this? Four per second. Uh, about a hundred seconds, give or take, because the belt has to fill up first. Mucky, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Tumbling, good to see you again. Hatchoon, Beardless Stain, Silent Storm, I think Silent was here before. Peek pajamas, welcome, welcome. How are you all doing? Hope you're well, thank you. High speed, good to see you again. We are just about to witness our first uh, Bio Catalog 2 in the train network. Finally, after several hours of problems with... Uh, Vita Melange throughput. We found a couple of ways to clean it up a bit. Perfect timing then, indeed. Yeah, here it comes. About another 70 in each, so like... 140 over 4. 35 seconds, apparently. Soon. Knack is more of a pain, I'm sure it is. Vita is a pain. I think Vita's more of a pain in my experience. Knack is just harder to get a decent throughput. King Fnab, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It begins. So once this actually works, um... Oof, owie. 1.68 broad catalogs per second. No, it's 5,000. It's gonna take... Uh... 50 minutes. Oh, no. But we can now see it's actually happening. Rip. In about 50 minutes, we're going to have a train load of Bio 2. Or Bio Catalog 2. Fantastic. Our spaceships are working as well. Um, I haven't found a single one for several hours. Well, the entire day, actually. Oh, there's not that many that are backed up either. Yeah, I think we fixed it. 
Our LTN-ish dispatch system for spaceships is actually working. Some of them go via Phonestra, others do not. They're all super generic, no specific, uh, no specific resource type that they carry or destination. We just send them to go pick stuff up where we need it. Like Musk Garden. 50 minutes for the first load, then it's a steady flow. We might be able to replace all of the... Um... Yeah, it, it takes by far the longest to get the first train load going. Um, we might be able to replace all of the prerequisites by the time it goes through all of that. But bioscience is very, very thirsty, especially at first. There's a lot of... Ooh, look at all that bio sludge. Uh, there's a lot of... Hmm. I should probably make this one a higher priority. Because it can flow into the other one. It takes a really long time to saturate uh, bio sludge. Like, you got to get started with a self-reinforcing loop. But then, once you have an, everything at scale, kind of like with thermofluid, it comes back. You do certain processes, they create contaminated bio sludge. 99% of the contaminated bio sludge comes back as bio sludge. And you don't actually have to produce that much of it directly. Um, how are our other builds doing from today? Oh, wait, I forgot. I was going to go back to... Give me some more scaffolding. I was going to go back to that outpost. And give me some more flat solars as well. That's not a lot of scaffolding. Rude. And I think I'll make the rest flat solar panels. Oh yeah, I meant to bring in... Oh, screw it. It's fine. Yellow belt for construction train? Oh yeah. We should have brought yellow belt over here now. Let's bring exactly two yellow belt into this chest. Fantastic. And then we can place it down here. So that we can finish this sushi build. Um, to make extract, which kind of works like coverx. But I've just got a little yellow belt here. To make sure that there's gaps, well, significant gaps on the belt. So that we can do the output. It did end up all being spice. Is it going to break? No. Apparently not. Now the spice is flowing. Now the spice is flowing. Let's look at our stats for spice. Production. Line do, in fact, go up quite a bit. It's not going to last and unless I manage to get this new outpost built in record time, even though we need to clear a 9,000 radius planet of a small density of biters. Um, but yeah, that'll, that'll get us some science. All right, let's go to Foenestra, and then once we get there, we'll use it as a shortcut to go back to Vazanis. 
Take care, Maki. Thanks for dropping by once again. Have a good night. Don't forget ammo. Uh, the witch. I've got carrying ammo built into the construction train. If you mean media defense ammo. Did we get this fixed? Yes, we did. Fantastic. There's been another train pickup. Suddenly, we are not struggling uh, with Vitamalange Spice at all. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I think it is about 50 minutes to fill this up. Are we going to have another trainload of this by then? It looks like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think... This is by far a production bottleneck, if we've got all the resource, yeah, decent resource inputs. But yeah, we need another train load of... Oh. Unfortunately, we will need another train load of broad to go over here. Unless we want to cheap out and use... Nah, I don't want to use the bio... The recipe that only uses bio catalog. Because it's going to spit out blank data cards, and I don't want to deal with that. Uh, we are about a third of the way ish to Foenestra already. And. Oh, I wanted to check. Well, first of all, how's how's Nalvis cooking? Nalvis, what what is this? Oh, how's our beam? Beam is going good. All those those behemoths still have way too many hit points. You're not going to hit that that one first? No? Okay then. Beam, indeed. Energy beam. So how... It looks like it's cleared this area out since we got it going. It's not going to take that long, relatively speaking. Um, uh, but the planet that I want to clear that's in the Vazana system is Bombato. It is extremely close to the interstellar map, very large radius, hardly any biters. Um, suffice to say that's going to be our end game Vitamelange source, and we probably won't need any more than that. Uh, we were scanning it, I think, looking for biters. Holy... Rap, there's hardly any biters on this planet. At least we can start the beaming. It'll probably stop. Oh, this one's not nearly as powerful, though. Because we need to pump more solar power into it. It's also... The beam has to travel further as well. You do have advanced research server? I do not. It's actually shockingly far into... Uh, let's see. We need Bio 3. We've set up Bio 2, but we're still waiting for it to saturate. So we need another four data card builds and another copy paste edit tier 3 and 4 catalog build, just like this. Um, and then we need a bunch of resources shoved into it, and we need to update this to tier 3. Well, if we want... If we want better efficiency for the resource cost for insight, we need to do that. Um, but yeah, it's still one whole extra bioscience away. Technically, we did bio 2 ages ago, but it's taking a really, really long time to get going. Right, we are almost at Foenestra. Hmm. 
9.8k, 9.9, and off we go to Vizanis orbit. Fantastic. Travel time is a lot kinder than it was during the first playthrough. Okay, let's have a look at this. Yeah, we are really going faster with Vita Melange Spice now. Away we go. What is this guy doing? Destination full? What do you mean? This one has train limit zero. This is an LTN pickup. Did vanilla train steal your sweet roll? That might have been what happened. So it's, but it's already got some extract in it. That's kind of weird. I think it has... I don't know how it got the extract in the train to start with. But I think it has to... Get enough extract here for this to be train limit one again before this starts working. Um, but yeah, vit extract, here we go. Seems like we've got a really good flow now. I mean spice. Well, spice is extract in another form. Uh oh, have we already peaked? Surely not. Surely not. Uh, I think we already peaked. We're actually keeping up with this outpost now. And we have two trains waiting. Where's the other one? Oh, here it comes. Alright, I think the good times are going to stop rolling in a little while. Hello, Vita Melange. 4 minutes 27 until we get to Vazanis orbit so we can make that energy beaming go faster. Although, at this rate, scanning the planet and finding enough biters for the beam to go after... We might even just keep up. It's going to be less uh, the number of biters we need to kill and more the sheer area that we need to cover. What's the radius? 8813. Equals 08813, comma, bomb bato. This right here is, I think, the southern tip. That's kind of a lot. Although, if this is as big as the binder nests are at the edge of the map, then I'm not as concerned. Scorchy, scorchy. The beam is quite slow, though. Needs more faster. Three minutes till we get there. Okay. I want one that looks more like the beam that's scorching Nalvas. Much better. Also, is it my imagination, or... When you energy beam the biters, they don't know what to attack. If it triggered attacks, uh, the old base might have gotten overwhelmed by now. But... That is not what we're dealing with at all. Boven, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, two minutes till we get here. Should we jump into editor? 
do something. What shall we build? I don't actually have anything in mind right now. Oh, I know. Um, let's do converting methane into bio sludge. Which, hmm, that might be harder than I thought because I want to have some kind of mechanism where that's basically low priority. Well, I guess we can just use LTN's priority system. Probably, yeah, that's not that difficult. Basically, I want methane to go into Naquium, Lattice, and self-healing gel, I suppose. What does self-healing gel go into again? Planetary teleporter. That sounds very cool. 180 to make a prod 8. Life support mark 4. Arco link. Thruster suit mark 4. Med pack. Okay. Anyway, um, I want methane gas to go into all of these things as a higher priority than bio sludge. But I would definitely rather make bio sludge with it than vent it. How many GW are you pumping in that beam? Uh, the one that's aimed at Nalvis is... Let's see. Eighty-four gigawatt. Yep. Eighty-four gigawatt. And it's only losing, uh, well, it's losing almost 40% just for the distance traveled to Nalvis. But yeah, this is maybe sufficient for clearing out the solar system. We can always add more. Um, actually, we want to go for, oh. Yeah, that's right. I was going to get Beryl from Achilles. It's literally right next door, 9,000 radius Beryl core fragments. We could save a lot of ship travel time. But I kind of already made, like... Well, I think it's only one more Beryl outpost. It's in Wexivis, I think. No, this one's... Yeah, yeah, Wexivis. If I could have, like, snapped my fingers and cleared out Achilles, I definitely never would have gone to Wexivis. But it's a huge planet with 21% biter threat, so... Most of the, um... Most of the planets in our system have hardly any, if any, biters, though. I can't imagine we'll ever need a mineral water or rare metals core mining drill. Uh, maybe crude oil. We've got practically infinite crude oil on Hagen, but you never know. Let's do a search. Uh, we want to search for crude oil, and I think it's entity. This is how much crude oil we've got left to tap on Hagen. Do you think it might get us through this playthrough without going for a crude oil core fragment? I think it might. Just, just maybe. How was that a link? Entity.destroy? Lamel? You can slash C local surface game player surface for key entity in PES destroy? Oh, is this a cheat? Not enough, need more faster. 
Oh no. What was it called? Uh, what's this recipe? Coal filtration was an absolute godsend for this playthrough. Two things we were chronically short on for a while on Hagen were stone and coal. Ben Wu. Dang time flies low. Dang time flies indeed. Thank you so much for the seven months. Much appreciated. Snap my fingers, indeed. Oh, we're here. Let's make some more solo. And... I've already got the scaffolding in my inventory. Up we go. How far does this reach? Oh, whoops. For the moment, I only want to go as far as these substations will reach. Probably, probably have enough scaffolding to do that. Yeah, I'm sure we do, actually, especially because I brought extra. One off. Time to get more. Gimme, gimme. Sub hype, indeed. That emote is sort of confusing, for lack of a better word. See for Calidus. Can you fly over the beam or not? Oh yeah, it won't actually do anything. Womp 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 womp. Gigawatts of energy beam? Harmless. Brains? Instant death. Even if they seem to be barely moving. Noised. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And let's get these uh, solar panels in. Oh, I should just do a copy-paste of this. And then I should be able to... Drag it across with no mistakes? Question mark? Alright. We're going to need more solar panels. To be fair, K2 trains are much heavier. I never even thought about the mass. Or well, not very much, anyway. How's our science build looking? Ooh, we almost already have another train load of biomechanical resistance. We're full on biochemical resistance. We're full on biocombustion resistance. And experimental genetic is very often empty because there's a lot that depends on it. Oh crap, are we out of bio sludge? Oh no. Um, this has 40k bio sludge here, so we're not trying to make more out of the biomass. When we get enough contaminated bio sludge, it's going to come back and maybe come back over here. I'm thinking I should prior this because lots and lots of prereqs through here as well. I do have a few builds uh, on Hagen churning out, we've got four of these, we're churning out 
51.2 biomatter per second as one way to make biomass. We've also got the usual loop. But suffice to say, that only gives us like five bio sludge per second. Ouchie. Eagle Wolf, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, speaking of which, here comes some more biomatter now. Taking a surprisingly long time to fill up. It's only got a stack size of 100. Oh, our UPS isn't perfect. I need to start cleaning away the old bases and replacing them with um, the modernized, simplified ones. And I need to tear up a bunch of old builds that have way more machines. And fewer prod modules. How much do we get out of one train load? One tenth. Um, so one thousand bio sludge. A, a train load of biomatter gives us one thousand bio sludge. Oh no. That's pretty rough. That is pretty rough. Hmm. Did I prio this one? No. Be sure that's... This all leads to the same place, but is it on the side of a pump? No, it's not. Okay. We've sort of got quite a lot of bio sludge, but it's in the wrong place to get our precious build going fast. Maybe I should look at more ways to make bio sludge. Oh, is this it? It is fantastic. Soon. Um, I could put more than two pumps here, but it takes a while before this has 60k bios lunch to be picked up. And zoom. Fantastic. And here come our things that are prerequisites for almost everything. Genetic data, experimental genetic, and so on. Experimental genetic. We've already got it here. 1k left. I think we are going to be able to replace all of this by the time... Oh, that should kick in right about now. No, wait. When we're down to 500 in each container, the trains will start delivering stuff here. Cool, cool, cool. Let's grab more solar panels. Uh, and also, more energy beam If we can afford it. We cannot afford it. Hurry up and get the solar panels. Walking on sunshine. Just a little bit more. Show me those accumulators charging. Beautiful. Why was my resubscribe message deleted? I have no idea. 
you just tried to send it, right? I presume? I don't see anything. It's not like it was moderated. Maybe a bug? Beldak, you didn't moder moderate away Trotsky's resub message, did you? It says Burgers and Fries deleted it? Burgers and Fries isn't a mod here. I'm pretty sure it's just, what, Veldak and Damsel? And Zura. Zura doesn't show up very often these days. What the hell happened here? Oh no. Uh Please don't tell me all of that is wrong. Oh no. Refresh your web page, probably some bug with chat. I'm a member of the assembly line secret police? Get out of here with that. No secret police. Um, so I think this goes... One tile further over, and I don't know how this happened. There, there we go. go. Indeed. Thank you very much for the four months, Trotsky. Much appreciated. And welcome, welcome. Always good to see you again. Okay, um, so I've still got a bunch of solar panels, I've still got not that much scaffolding. Oh, I've got way more scaffolding than I thought. Let's start up here, but first, yeah, that's fine for now. Oh, that beam's actually kind of fast. Cool. Oh, wow, that's much more powerful than I was expecting already. What, what are we putting into it? Um, 20 gigawatt. And it's at 51% efficiency. You can have one more row on the left. This is true. Oh, that's why these were here. Because these should have reached. Cool, cool, cool. And let's start over this side. First of all. Symmetry go burr. Little bit more. Just a couple more. All right. Maybe this isn't enough. I could go work on other things. Like, the only reason I'm making this outpost on the sun is to clear Bombato. Uh, I don't think I'm interested in Magi. It's got 100% biters, too. That would take forever to clear. Also, we haven't had trouble with stone for a long time. More power? Indeed. I mean, we may as well build as much as we can afford while we're here already. Right? I'll put this down already so that when we go to place the solar panels, we can tell where they fit. Oh, wow. No, 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 I forgot. We've got more scaffolding back in the ship. Went from grey name to blue name on my client, too. Hmm. Now witness the firepower. Of this fully armed and operational battle station, indeed.
Name a military target. Okay, where does this go to? This one. Whoops. Give that back for now. And I think we can maybe fill that rectangle out. Lovely. I blame you and Damsel for getting me to start playing Oni. No sleep for a week now. You're welcome. I'm surprised how relatively easily I fixed that absolute disaster with the uh, superheated steam in a room that was supposed to be a vacuum. It didn't take as long to sort out as expected. Is that correct? It... Nope. Why does this happen? Oh no. Oh, no. Let's try that again. Do it this way. That makes more sense. Yeah, Uni's pretty good. Asterisk. It, it, it has its pros and cons, let's put it that way. I mean, I would definitely recommend it. It is a, as far as I know, very unique experience. How's our bioscience looking? Saturated, saturated, saturated. It's literally just time now. I'm pretty sure. This doesn't actually need that much biosludge. It's, uh... Holy crap, that's kind of fast for one machine. 136 bio sludge per second. 10 makes one card. That, that actually is kind of a lot. But all seems well over here. In fact, we're saturated on biomass. And experimental biomass is accumulating. Oh, there is a train coming for this now. But it's it didn't come the instant that we had 100 stacks. That's looking very, very good. Even more over here now. Perfect. I think I already got rid of the prio as well, so... Yeah, all of our purple biomass looks like it's pretty much saturated. What a turnaround from earlier this stream. It's going to be another, like, what, 15, 20 minutes before we get the catalogs? That's going to have to be tomorrow. I think. Not reading the wiki, but poker shell in my bathroom with outhouses? They eat polluted dirt, right? Then they had a spawn? Oh no. Yeah, poker shells are very... Uh, are perfectly docile and friendly until there's an egg nearby. Um, I'm pretty sure they don't get aggressive if there's babies nearby. It's only if there's eggs. Will you stream Factorio tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow is going to be a bit of variety. I'm going to continue MechWarrior 5. I just did three days of Factorio in a row, which is the usual. Um, I, I love it, and I really don't want to burn out on it. I could keep this up almost 
indefinitely, depending on what other mods have to offer and stuff. And we're out of scaffolding now. But, yeah, I definitely don't want to get to the point of feeling like, oh, I need to stream Factorio today. I mean, there's a little element of that. You know, if you keep up a schedule, or mostly keep up a schedule, you do this stuff sometimes because it's time to do it, not because you a thousand percent feel like it. That's anything, if you commit to it like that. Alright, that's fine for now. How much more power do we have? Ooh, over 11 gigawatt. Three days is not enough, but better than burning out. Oh no. Um, Get out of here, Umbrella. Can we fit... I think we can. Do this on both sides. Oh. Oh, I found another thing that doesn't cope well with clips and stuff. Kind of like bulk rail loaders. Don't tell me we're three... How can we be short? We normally bring 47 of these. Injector. Storage. Nothing. I see how it is. How much ammo do we have left over here? Lots. We may as well... we already did. Cool, cool, cool. I think, we'll, I think it's time to go back. Back to... Via Foenestra? Fantastic. We'll have to look at this next week, I think. Um, but yeah, you know, I did title this spaceship gonna work. Spaceship's gonna work for real this time, and it did happen. There's certainly room for some improvements. We did have to spam maybe a few more spaceships than we should need. Currently, we've got uh, one on barrel. Two waiting to drop off barrel. Three waiting to drop off barrel. Four ships waiting to drop off barrel. I stand corrected, it's five. Five spaceships are waiting to drop off barrel core fragments. Um, but as long as we're satisfying each type of core fragment... Well, I was going to say, does it really matter? Yeah, it kind of does. We've got like three or four ships fewer in motion than we probably should. Do spaceships cost really any UPS if they're just sitting in orbit waiting for their turn to land, though? If the answer is basically no, then there isn't really a downside to this system. Um, but that said, I am very happy with where it's at now. But I would really like to make it super smart, if I can. I'm going to have a long think about how I could prioritize based on which resource we do or don't actually have the most of. More so than we already do. Like, we check, we check how full this is before we decide that an outpost with X core fragments is allowed to request a ship. But that's not that's not that precise. It, it's functional. It works very well. It could definitely be more precise. That's all. 
But hey, um, ever since we added a little something... Where, where's a good example? Here we go. Red light here means ship's not allowed to land. Give a red signal to the input at the bottom of a spaceship clamp. It means the clamp won't function in terms of ship using it to anchor. Um, and we're basically saying there has to be enough storage space in these blue chests for the ship to unload all at once. Uh, and that seems to have prevented that rare bug where the ship somehow relaunches when it's almost empty and kidnaps some bots and still has core fragments and doesn't have a proper destination. Um, that was frustrating and very, very, very intermittent. And no matter how hard we looked, we couldn't find a reason that it would do that. But as of right now, we've gone an entire stream without that happening since we made that change. So let's call it like an 80% chance that's probably the reason why. Well, I turned into Myclat trying to solve Foenestra last night. And no, my brain is like whispering Factorio? What? Can you make... Oh, now my brain is whispering Factorio. Can you make bigger slash effective spaceships? Yes. I've already designed it. Um, so here is our current spaceship. It has 18,000 and something core fragments that it can transport each time. And it has a top speed of what? Um, let's see. Find one of the ones in motion. Top speed of 88. 0.96, which isn't too bad for a first generation. Um, but yeah, container stress only goes to 500. We do have a bit higher tech now, but we're not going to bother with that. Uh, the next iteration of ship, when we do get to that research, can go to uh, 81 full buffer chests, 2000 hull stress. Uh, it's obviously going to be quite a bit faster with four antimatter engines. And it actually powers itself with antimatter as well. Um, the solar panels are just to, like, mitigate the cost of the antimatter for power. Or, like, if we're sitting idle somewhere, we can, you know, not consume fuel for power. Um, but yeah, that's obviously requiring Naquium. Um, but yeah, 81 times 48 times 20 is 77,760 core fragments. We can also load it completely full because we don't have to worry about leaving room for a used up uranium fuel cell. Um... And yeah, simpler, more robust, faster, much bigger capacity. Pretty much just better in every way. Except for the initial cost, I suppose. But who cares about that in Factorio? Alright, just a little longer till we're at Foenestra. And... I really hate to finish the stream when we're this close to seeing our first pickup of broad catalogs. But uh, there's nothing for it. Next week, Bio 2 research is going to happen, and we're going to get Spidertron. All sorts of... Ooh. Wait, do we have Bio 1? No, 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 we don't have the Insight, because I'm using broad catalog for the Insight. It's much more efficient. Tried your crafting combinator blueprint, but it's not working properly. Any advice? Um, which one did you use? I've got a few of them. 
I don't really have time to go over it right now. There's, there's actually lots of little tips and caveats I have with these things, depending on how you want to do certain parts of it. In what way is it not working? Oh, I think one of these blueprints might have had like a wire missing or something somewhere. I thought I updated it. I could be wrong. Using 6x. Alright, well, let's slap the 6x in real quick before we go. Wait, where are we? I think we're at Fonestra. Let's go to Hagen Orbit. Make sure we turn off Anchor 2. Otherwise bad things could happen. Let's see. Crafting Combinator 6x. Wait, is this in its own Logi network? It is. Give it some power. And... Oh. Let me save real quick. And I think this is where I'll continue from next week. Because I'm going to mess with the crafting combinator mod settings. Because for a couple of reasons, I've actually got it set up to update not very often at all. But that's not so good for troubleshooting it. Let's set that to the default. One second. Okay. So first thing you should see is it's trying to make rainbow chests. It's okay, I'll just come back later. Skips some recipes. Skips some recipes. Hmm. Depending on the mod, you might need to go crafting combinator recipes. Uh, and for example, recipe space locomotive, which is a pain because of the way this works. Um, I don't use the crafting combinators to make the space locomotives because... I would need, like, specific logic just for those, uh, the locomotive, the cargo wagon, etc. Uh, to convert one signal type to another to check if we've got X number of locomotives, blah blah blah. Yeah, sometimes the signal for... A good example is space... Locomotive. Um, it won't actually... Why did this switch off? Oh, what the... what? What? I'm confused. I think there's a wire missing on this or something. Uh, I don't know. There was like one little wire connect missing on one of these builds. Uh, this doesn't seem to be it. This is not outputting anything. Why not? All of these constant combinators... Oh, they're not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a, here's a missing wire for you. <laughs> that helps. Did I break that when I removed this one? Maybe. Um, space train locomotive. That's actually working. What the hell? Oh, that's recipe space train locomotive. So if I put space train loco... Uh, space train locomotive. The actual item. It's not going to know what to do with it. Oh, there we go. As you can see, the first one, where that's outputting, is just blank. Constant's not connected, indeed. I mean, I can come back later if you don't have time. Yeah, I'll have to wrap it up today. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Oh, what did I set this to? It's like 33 seconds. Um, 60 times 33. Let's just set it to 2,000. 
think I had it on like 1900 or something. Whatever, it's fine. Okay. Let's find someone to raid. That happens a lot. Don't forget to delete blueprint tree part, indeed. Who should we raid today? Dane is doing SEK2. Anybody else? I think we have one option if we're going SE and or K2. What do you guys think? 100 times multiplier. Ouchie. Oh, it's episode one. That's going to be really, like, low-tech stuff. Yeah. It's been a while since I raided uh, Tumbling, I think. Mr. Dane is great, indeed. Alright, we'll raid Tumbling today. It's been a minute. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. Take care, Benwu, Veldak, Viking, Doubleface, Evilpla, Reckonsy, Silent, and everyone else. Thanks for the stream, thanks for hanging out. And thank you all so much for the subs and such as well. Thank you so much. Alright, uh, I need to get spider spam ready to drop in on tumbling. Very important. Oh, I forgot I left my browser on super low CPU. Okay. All right, away we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, back to the numbers we go to check my amount of cracking.